Hello. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. There we go. <laughs> We're live. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to High Rollers D and D. We're back. We're ready to go. We're ready to play some D and D. Thank you all so much for joining us. I'm your dungeon master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and I'm joined by my friends this week. We got Chris Trot. We've got Kim Richards. On the other side, we've got Tom Hazel and Mrs. Rhiannon Frost. Hello. Oh, Married. Hell Marled. Yeah. Marled. Hell yeah. did it. Uh, you did it. Harold Marald. You captured yourself a man. I did. Uh, <laughs> I caught a man and now he can't escape. He can't escape. He's locked in. <laughs> Born and chained. Idiots, aren't chain. they? I know. They have all the chances to say no or exactly. I object and then it, they went through with it. Yeah. yeah. It's so easy. <laughs> Dumb. No, but congratulations. We had a lovely time at the wedding. Yeah. Uh, the oh, High Rolls crew glad. rocked up. They had a good time. We Lots good. of dancing. Uninvited. Rocked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocked yeah. Rocked yeah. Rocked <laughs> The High Rollers crew rocked rock out. Like yeah. we, rocked we we were owning that dance floor yeah. uh, for the most oh, time, yeah. and the photo booth, as it turns out, yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, sorry, we dominated. Four hundred photos, two hundred of which were us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna save some for family. I'm sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. We're family. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, no, Katie, this week sadly she's up in Scotland at uh, another wedding. At another wedding. It's yeah. Wedding season. Uh, wedding Woo. season. Hopefully back next week uh, as we move forward. A couple of little things before we get into today's game. We get back on track. Um, first things first, if you haven't grabbed it yet, Rhiannon, show off the wonderful t-shirt that you're wearing. The High Rollers oh. Club shirt. I was, I was just tweeting, so I forgot to tweet from the no, High Rollers. No, that's all right. It's, uh, Ooh, you, grab it's, this. It's Before the most it original D&D shirt that exists. So yeah. original. Nobody else has got a no. shirt like it. Mm -hmm. um, so your Halloween's coming up. <laughs> Halloween's coming up. Great costume. You're going to need an outfit. You want to be Eddie for Halloween this year? The thunders are roaring. The thunder roars. You want to be... You, who's Eddie? You want to be Rhiannon for Halloween? You get like you a nice denim shirt. jacket or something like yeah, that. Look, yeah, yeah. Look, you can put a little bit of a mullet. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Um, cool. you, you know, you could look like Chris a cool 80s High Rollers fan. Dungeons yeah. 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 What, yeah. Would, what would we look like if we were playing this in the 80s? <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> that could be a crazy Halloween idea. That would be a crazy idea. But you don't have that. to imagine. Just look at Rhi. There you go. But yeah, so grab that. It's in our store. You can <laughs> Fresh merch, freshmerch.fm, High Rolls Collection, grab it there. Grab some other things while you're there as well. We've got lovely, lovely selections of different merch that you can go and buy. Um, yes. And I will say nothing else, otherwise I'll be in trouble. Yes. Um, next thing, MCM London Comic Con. Uh, it's coming up this month. Whee! It's the end of this month. It's literally in like two weeks' time. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. I know. Uh, myself and Trot are going to be there. Uh, we'll probably, there will apparently be, we might have a meet and greet and uh, sessions. We don't know when or where uh, those are going to be just yet. We will post, we'll, we'll let you know when that's going to be. But there should hopefully be, we might do them separately. Trot might be with Hat Films. I might do one on my own. We might do it together. We don't know. Um, but it's if you want to come and get D&D books signed, if you want to come meet us and ask us some questions and talk to us, yeah, come to MCM. Yeah, bump into us. There will be merch of ours being yeah. sold there. There will be a fresh merch stand with merch uh, so. to buy. Um, so you can come buy some merch. So I think there's also going to potentially be like some posters like to yeah. get signed and Might stuff. Might be quite unique to yeah. the event. Yeah, so. nothing too special. It's been a bit of a sort of like throwing it all together, but come and see us anyway. Wow. Come say hi. Um, <laughs> well, you know, it'll be like a unique thing, but it's not like oh, I don't mean it's not going to be anything new. Like it's not going to be like whoa, exclusive cool thing that you can get. Um, Lie to them. Year. Get no. excited. No. No. <laughs> I'm a man of honesty, Tom Hazel. Uh, the other thing, we may potentially also be doing a panel. We're waiting to hear back on whether that's happening. Um, my, if we do, it will be a sort of D&D Q&A panel. Uh, my friend Kit Bus is likely going to join us Ooh, if we do one. Nice. Um, and I might be able to snag some of the Ox Venture guys as well, who have Sweet. their own stuff going on at MCM as well. So why don't come see Ox Venture, come see High Rollers. The it'll be a bunch of us crossover. there. Yeah, it'll be a bunch of us there. Um, so come say hi if you can get it. I think tickets are still available, um, but they do sell out. But yeah, we'll try and post up information as and when we have it about what's going on with High uh, with MCM. Um, Shit, yeah, bitch. Anything. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. What a wonderful way to round that off. Uh, oh, I just love the idea that somebody's tuning in for High Rollers for the first time and they're like, oh, wholesome British crew, wonderful. British, oh, right, British yeah. people being all wholesome and lovely. Fuck yeah, shit, bitch. Shit, yeah, bitch. Is shit, what yeah, it was. Bitch. Just Sorry. waiting for the I content of the episode. I didn't say the F exactly. word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love the <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. well, Welcome to High Rollers, everybody. This is kind of our vibe. Fuck. With that in mind, is there anything else to mention this week? 
but uh, but uh, as always, you, always you got that Amazon Prime. You want to get some high rolls emotes? You can throw that on here. Yeah. You can go support us on Patreon as well. It's a great That'd way to support us. Yeah. Um, and I always say this as well. You know, if you can't sub and you can't donate, don't worry about that stuff. Like, there's loads of very generous people that give subscriptions and donations. But the best way you can support high rolls is go out there and tell people about yeah. it. Yeah. It's the number one way you can help. Get on outside yeah, right now. Scream! Fly open those windows. You there, boy. Have you heard of High Rollers D and D? <laughs> what day is it? Sunday. <laughs> it's High Rollers Day. <laughs> I um, scream, you scream, we all scream for D&D. High rollers. Nice, I love it. Yeah. Uh, with ah. that lovely message, uh, <laughs> we are going to play the intro and then we're going to play some D&D. See you in a minute. Bye. Welcome back to Erois High Rollers. Our party, the champions of Erois, crew of the Storm Chaser, have just returned from their epic journey to defeat the Titan of Death, Kalara, and allow her spirit to rejoin with the goddess Siaskas. As the threat of Hadar, the red star that consumes gods and planes, still looms over them, and the ongoing conflict with the planar emperor Kallus Valkyrian continues, the champions have little time to rest. They return to the sky city of Horizon and find that it has been joined by the city-sized astral battleship, the Astoria, and that their alliance is hard at work to prepare for the dangers to come. In a meeting with Horizon's leader, the Phoenix Sorceress Danica, the party learn of the state of Erois. One final titan, Atelicus, still remains before Siaska can be reborn, but Atelicus stays hidden. Callus Valkyrian's forces remain in the uneasy, unspoken peace treaty following his meeting with the party, but there are still various dangers across the world. Chiefly, Nova learns that her home city, Vortensar, has fallen under the influence of the Valkyrian Empire and made progress in their plans to transport the city back to the elemental plane of Ganas. The spies they sent to keep an eye on Vortensar suspect that they have 10 days to stop the scheme. With teleportation magic into the city blocked and not wanting to attack it with military force, the champions will need to infiltrate the city in secret. And that is where our adventure begins. Whoa! Woo! Whoa. Uh, so we kind of, the last episode we did a sort of hodgepodge of like meeting with people in Horizon and talking with stuff <laughs> and getting stuff up, up. Bit of a, you did have a spot. Last day. episode was a, was a fever day. dream. It was a bit of a fever dream. We uh, all went a bit weird. A little <laughs> reminder on this one. Uh, you have basically been told uh, that you have 10 days to stop whatever is going to happen in Vortensa. It says 10 to 14 on my notes. Oh, 10 to 14. It's 10 now. 10 at the worst oh. case. Yeah. Could, could be days, could be could hours. Could be hours. Uh, I believe also, uh, one thing I forgot to include in the recap was Quill used to hit the power of his storm eye to glimpse at what might happen. I oh, did. And it was really it was good, bad. right? It was Real good, well, yeah. Bad, bad. Kind well. of confirmed what you believed, yeah. anyway. Um, it wasn't good. It was it cool. Was, it was cool, uh, but it kind of confirmed your belief that there is a high chance that this device or this this ritual that they're going to be using is not going to work, and it will instead destroy the city. Now, as always, Quill's prophetical powers. Uh, there is whenever he sees the future, he is seeing a potential future. It's not guaranteed that that is what's going to happen. It is mo it is generally the most likely thing that is going to happen if you do not intervene. But the second you start getting involved, that future can change. Um, as always. So, uh, the other mention, there was a brief plan. You know that you cannot teleport to Vortensar, um, and that the airspace over Vortensar for airships is heavily controlled. There are Valkyrian gunships and battleships there. Um, so the plan that you arranged was you were going to infiltrate it via land. You were going to go basically in disguise and enter the city through its main gates and try and basically 
get into the city and figure out what you were going to do next and to aid you in the doing. Canal system. That was another option. Yes, there was a. There's a different entrances ways that you could have taken it. One of which was be basically dropping into the sea and then swimming in via yeah. the water district. But that was there was a high risk to that one. Um, this one is going to be more about disguising and deception, Locals. things like that. And as part of that, you would arranged uh, with your uh, the NPC commander Rin, who's kind of like helping you in Horizon, uh, to have a specialist brought on board who is going to help you with magical disguises and disguises and things like that. Um, that is pretty much uh, the sort of background info. Um, if there is anything else you would like to do, or I can jump straight in to... So, Fortins are pretty much at this point completely locked off from the outside world, mm. right? Do they have... There is still... Messages? They are still accepting. Um, they're still accepting Ganassi, who are returning to Vortensar, who wish to uh, wish to basically be taken to Ganass. So it is still open, but only to Ganassi. Okay. Non Ganassi are not being allowed in the city. Yeah. Um, messaging. Uh, generally, nope. They're they're doing their own messenger. They're not allowing messengers in. We uh, have our own messenger that. guild. Oh yeah. What's that called? Magic. <laughs> God, uh, I more, felt that. <laughs> that it, it is also a case of, yeah, they basically no longer trust Erois, and so they're handling things themselves. They also have the Valkyrian Empire who's helping them with things like messaging. And yeah, we got, and we got and stuff. Big Daddy up there. Yes. Papa. Speaking Papa Bane. Of, speaking yeah. of which, oh no, that's. We don't need to worry about communicating with him just yet. No, no that's for Atilicus. That would be for yeah. Atilicus. Yeah. Although. Mm -hmm. You can do many things. Uh. So, uh, is there any other questions or things, or I can just basically jump into where the I see the kind of session really beginning? Like, you're, we, you know, movie cuts to kind of moment. Okay, yeah, I that's kind of how gearing up, yeah. putting on makeup. In which case, was... well, uh, you, you need to meet meet your specialist mm. before that all goes oh. down. I think. I was wondering about whether or not to talk to family about going in. I mean, yeah, that would be, you know, this would be your time to do it, because otherwise mm. we're basically going to be jumping to you guys being on the airship, making your way to Vortensar. They're in Gusthaven, though, so... They are, but you can, you can make, you can take time, you can make arrangements, Ooh. like it doesn't... Ooh. Guess we'd have time to teleport around. Yeah, you have teleport, yeah, yeah. You, you have access to the, the Wayfinders Guide, you have teleportation helm and things like that. Oh, so I'm sure Danica would let me just, like, you know... You, the, the Horizon has teleportation circles mm. that, that go to Gusthaven, like, you, you that, that won't take you Someone any time. It feels nice, you know, to teleport. Yeah. Port. Like the Wayfinder's guy is a bit rough. Mm. No, papery. No, it's no, it's a bit papery, rough. Yeah. It's the smoothest ride this side of the Astral Sea. The Astral Sea. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Good job. Good job. Um, so yeah, Nova, if you want to, you can. Yeah, I'd probably, to if we had time, I'd check in with the Fam Lamb and be like, hey, you know that place I told you never to go back to. I'm going back to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that is that the gist of the conversation? You're basically just kind of letting them know what you're doing. Yeah, that that when we we got them out of there, it was obviously because we didn't know what was happening, and mm. I would update them on what has happened since that it's locked down, that there's all this going on. I basically tell them everything because mm. this is Nova, she's an idiot still, and but she if you can't trust your do family, do you tell them that Tornado is directly involved in like the Seekers and like leading this kind of resistance almost? I don't know if I'd say the Seekers specifically, but I would say that Tornado is involved. Like I'd be like Tornado's in in Fort and Sar, and mm. the he has gotten himself involved. Because mm. um, I, I don't think Nova would hide this from her immediate okay. family. Um, so I think that you kind of find your family. They've been put up in a lovely house in Gusthaven. They kind of have access to it. Um, you know, your family's been doing things to help Gusthaven as well, like your mom's cooking for, like, you know, refugees Hell that have been yeah. brought in and things like that. Um, your dad, kind of being an artist and sort of not, there's not much he can do, but he's doing uh, his best. Um, he's like making, <laughs> he's probably like making posters or something yeah, like that. Yeah, lovely posters. Like, yeah, or print, like, you know, like typefacing and things. Prince Aradan looking yeah. like, you know. Uh, I don't, yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> but I think that when you go and speak to them, they listen with quite ashen faces. Like, you can see that this news kind of hits them pretty hard, especially that Tornado is in the city and that it is under the control of this enemy of Erois and, you know, they've, everything you've told them about Callus and everything that's going to happen, you know, they're ashen faces kind of look at you with sort of horror and it's the first time you've probably seen your mum looking very scared mm. like this is and they're both at a sort of a loss for words um, mm. your mum is like but oh just well, is there any, should we go with you it should is there something we should be doing i i feel that i mean you and your friends uh, if you go there obviously you can fight but this you're not going to fight people there, are you? No, or? no, no. I've asked everybody. We we can't, you know. But one, I I can't. There's no way I could do anything, you know, against our people. But also, 
if anything is done in anger or violence or aggression, that's going to close the Ganassi hearts even more. And you see your dad, like, nodding along. Like, he very much believes in that and stuff. Mm. And he's just like, oh, that's good, that's good. Um, I want to resolve this as peacefully as I can. I'll be trying to get to Shansara, you know, the, the kind of the orchestrator of this as quickly as possible. Maybe see what... You might... That, I mean, obviously, I know you're very powerful, but... You, she was, when we were there, I mean, she was pretty beloved by everybody and was very highly protected by, by the city guard and, and all of these soldiers and things like that. That, that would be quite difficult. Um, well, I suppose I should give you this at least and she'll kind of give you a key and it's, it's the house key. It's like your house mm. key to your home in Wartensar. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't know if you still have yours, but just in case, here's mine. Of course just I in case you need it. Mine. Or if you need to give it to your friends or something, because we're not going to be going mm. back there anytime soon. So. Um, the house is there. I mean, I hope. Hopefully, it's all fine. We we sort of locked everything up when we left, but we tried to just make it out that we were going to get supplies and things. And I don't know if they know that we left. And, and I I'll, don't know. But I'll, I'll check. And I'll check the cafe as well. Um, mm. I'll, I'll. You know. I. I did think about asking you to come, or if you wanted to come, but it's really not safe. I. Quill. He had this vision that when they activate the teleportation device. It's gonna shatter the city. And you see, like that, like they literally, like you know, your mum grabs like your dad's hands, and like even your sister at this point is like, uh, even at the, your sister at this point is like looking pretty scared, and like they kind of huddle together, and like they're like, oh god, like the idea that their home, like this city that they've always known and has been in their family, mm. being destroyed, like really shakes them to the core. Um, um, if 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 I can, is there anything I can bring back? I, probably only small items, but. I can try my best. Yeah, yeah. your mum basically gets a list, writes a list. Mum, I'm not... <laughs> like, starts, like, organising... This is your entire... This is your entire kitchen. Uh, I can't bring no. your... Oh, no, the, the, I, can't. I need. I need my skillet and my wok. I can't this, I can't do without those. No, and like, I said small, mum. I said... S well, then what? You can I, carry that on your back. I, you, I carried that thing all around the city once. It's fine. You can carry that. Okay. And she does... She keeps it on there. Uh, kitchen knives, like... And it's all, like, different things, but it's also, like, things like your dad's sketchbook. And, like, <laughs> things like that. Like, you know, yeah. it's, it's mementos, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, nothing... Too big. Everything in the house. <laughs> I think that there's like it starts off that way, and then you work with her. Like no, no. no the I'm one thing she won't say, like the walk is coming. Like she's yeah. like, keep that one. That's hers. Okay, that, no, okay, nothing, fine. Basically. I'll um, uh, and I think like for your dad, it's like sketchbooks, and like for your sister, it's like uh, things that she was like projects that she was working on, like things like that. You want um, homework? Are you turning into me, it's Aurora? Hobbies. It's my hobby stuff. I want You're my... becoming rather like me that you're asking for your homework. Okay, yes, sure. If you if that stops you reading it, yes, then don't bring those back. Why shouldn't I read it? No reason. <laughs> well, now I'm definitely reading it. Don't read it. That'd you know I'm definitely uh, No, don't it. do that. I'm definitely reading it. Oh, and she just, like, gets annoyed with you. <laughs> um, and then probably, like, a couple of little things, like, um, you know, some stuff for tornadoes and things like that as well to bring mm -hmm. home. But, yeah, they give you a list. I'll, um, I can't promise, but I'll do my best. Of course, yes. No, focus on, on the city. Focus on helping the city, obviously. Um, but if you need to, the, these things would be... It'd be good to keep them, but um, just be safe. And, like, she'll come up and, like, give you a hug. And, you know, your whole and family gives you a hug. I'll, I'll get Tornado out safe, I promise. Oh, you better. That boy, he's in for a right cut. I'm going to beat him senseless when he gets back. <laughs> Like, up to no good. I don't care what trouble he's into. He's going to get... I'm going to... Is this what you said when eyes. I left? <laughs> yes, of course. Of okay. Course. Not telling us where you were going and what you were up to and I all this... I did tell you where I was going. Well, you left a note, but it was very you confusing. You knitted me this whole scarf. It was very confusing, and I'm still... I was thinking of you off to... Dad, you know, tell her. She did, he, she did leave a note, yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah. senseless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to punch him a lot. <laughs> I bet Kim's mum. She yeah. doesn't no, do joking. that. She Come do. on. She might do that. <laughs> There's always the threat, but she's never said That's it. That's exactly. Well, she's yeah. never vocalised it. She did beat me senseless. So. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, I think that it's very hard for your family to really understand the mm. scope of it in the same way you do. Like, they're listening to you and they believe you, but it's kind of, you can see that it's not really sinking into the depth that well, you know hard. it is. Yeah, yeah, it's like, imagine like being told that your home city was going to blow up yeah. in 10 days, yeah. you know, um, and all this kind of stuff. And and also, they know that they're just so outclassed here. Like, they are just a normal family. They can't do anything. They have nothing that they can do yeah. to help as much as they would like to. Yeah. Um, so I think, like, the only thing your mum does is before you leave, you get given p loads of packages of food. <gasps> can I uh, specifically ask for something spicy for Maximilian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, she'll cook you up 
something, she'll like make a nice fire Ganassi dish. I've got dish. this friend who's like a fire giant and he's really grumpy, but I think he needs some good, like good spicy food. Okay, I mean, how spicy should I go? Are we talking yeah. for fire Ganassi um, spicy? Yeah. Or, okay, yeah. okay. She'll Full go off and she'll cook up something like suitable and like, uh, yeah, and then she brings back food, like stuff that she knows that for the party everyone. have kind of liked and See, things now like that. See, that's my mom. <laughs> yeah, she, like, she remembers like the last time she saw them, what they liked. And, yeah. you know, there's probably a mix of like a certain package, which is just for Quill, because it's like, you know, bugs Rising. and stuff like candy wriggling. bugs yeah. and stuff like that. It's walking across the ground on its own. <laughs> <laughs> um, but things like that and like, yeah, different things for everybody and stuff and packages it all up. And yeah, that's like the one thing that, and, and it's probably what she spends most of the time doing, right? Yeah. Cause it's how she can yeah. feel useful and stuff. I imagine they probably have a little bit of survivor's guilt as well, that they're on the outside of this while their friends, family, neighbors, you know, all of that are just like stuck in this. And yeah, and I think that like when you when you speak to them, you find out that they have got a small community of Ganassi who have chosen to stay in Gusthaven that they've spoken to and said, look, don't go, mm. it's all lies, don't believe it. Mm. And they've managed to build up a small community of Ganassi that are going to stay in Gusthaven. Yeah. But you know that it's, they, they still know that the vast majority believe all this stuff yeah, that's being told yeah. to them, right? Um, so yeah, you have that lovely little moment. You, you pick up the packaged food. Um, yeah, you can bring that back with you all without taking too much time. I'm not going to take mm, yeah, any time yeah. away. Like you can teleport back and to and fro pretty easily. Yeah, I'll get back and I'll start handing things out. Oh, oh, Quill, package from my mum. Sentry, thank package you. from my mum. Oh, Lucius. thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> And yeah, what, what 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 would be everyone's kind of chosen? It doesn't have to be specific cuisine, but like what kind of food? Like, would it be like a sweet, like d d like dessert? Just so it's very like... mild palate, mm. so it wouldn't be anything spicy. Imagine like for you, like f kind of French style patisserie. Oh yeah, cream, like souffle, sugar, kind of like, yeah. stuff. Yeah, macaroons. Yeah, yeah. All right, nice, some Ganassi style. Air, 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 air yeah. so it'd be like an air, air, su yeah. air Ganassi souffle. <laughs> yeah, or like, nice. yeah, pancake or something like that. Like you very, drop, very just frothy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's very smushy. Like, <laughs> um, you put it down. What about uh, so for century? Because obviously, food you don't eat. But is yeah. there anything that you think you would have like pretended to for like Nova's mum or something or like maybe like something harkening back to like Solvin, but maybe like. From like one of like the grand feasts, maybe like a, a turkey leg or something, like a glazed <laughs> yeah. like turkey leg that she's seen like other people around the table eating. And and she's like, always I like to. that. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people eat that, that and great. enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Why, yeah. Well, the other thing I thought of was like maybe like tea, like a like a, oh, a, nice a flask tea. of tea yeah. or something, like warm tea or something, mm. like fire ganassi warm tea Ooh, or something, that'd be nice. um, or like earth ganassi kind of like earthy like rooty plant tea maybe, yeah. like a herbal tea mm. that could be quite good for century as well. Yeah. Delicious. Um, and what about for quill? Mealworm Bugs. muesli? Yeah, mealworm muesli. So just like rolled yeah. oats, rolled seeds. Oats, mealworms. Mealworms, delicious. Uh, are they dead or alive? They're probably a little bit alive. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever alive you enough. would prefer. Yeah. Both. Yeah, Nova's mum's not <laughs> squeamish. It's both. Yeah. Maybe like the, the dead medley. ones are like like glazed with like honey and stuff so they're Rolled. sweet they're like, oh, a, little it's bit like, like a little bit of crunch with a little bit of soft yeah. they like burst in your bit mouth oh. lovely and sweet <laughs> oh that that's a good it reminds me of the, the yeah. Timon and Bumba bug scene mm. yeah, they're, they're, they're different. <laughs> mm. delicious mm. yeah slimy um, yes, perfect like um, and then I'm sure Ayla, like Ayla will <laughs> is who is with you will will get something a big a big ham like ham hock Thing. Yeah, so maybe like two of them, one for Sentry, one for Ayla, mm. thrown in there as well. Nice. Love it. Um, and then, yeah, Max gets a very spicy... You you tell me, Kim, like, what would be Max. a suitable dish for Max? Like, So I saw my mum, and I said how you were missing food, because all the food here is far too weak. It's very bland. And I asked her to make you this. It's a fire ganassi special. It's basically noodles, but with deep fried chilies in oil, like Szechuan oil. I mean, that's not, that's, that's in real life, that's not Szechuan. <laughs> Szechuan or oil. Be something else, <laughs> yeah. like I'm imagining, yeah. Daisy I'm, I'm oil imagining or something like that. in real life Szechuan cooking, yeah. which is all like dried chili, red, deep fry, and, uh, like yeah. in oil and, and peppercorns and stuff yeah. like that, like, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's like, well, I don't know what a noodle is. What is, what is that? It's like a long, just eat it, just look, unwrap it, eat it. How does one eat it? Uh, one of these, he, has like a, he has like a fork. And he'll <laughs> you can you, you can use the fork if you're used to the fork. <laughs> yeah, he'll like and he, he like you know he does, he doesn't put it on a plate or anything like that. It's like he's used to packet, eat, he's yeah. used to eating military rations, so he just like and he eats very quickly, um, very much a soldier's kind of like you have food, you eat it as quickly yeah, as possible, yeah. and like uh, you know as, and you eat all of it. Um, and yeah, like a couple of like mouthfuls, like just one mouthful. He's like oh. Flavor, finally. <laughs> it's like he chews it away. Um, and I mean, you know how hot this is. Yeah. This is like the hottest thing that yeah. you can get. And he just eats it comfortably, like polishes the whole thing, like licks the. He's just like delicious. Absolutely. Finally, some good fun. Oh, yeah. He's literally <laughs> just like. 
Oh, I've never, there was something in there that I've never quite tasted before, but it was so uh, beautiful flavors it's mingled together. Probably the peppercorn. I'm not used to the chewiness of the sort of the noodle you mm. put in. That was different. I've never had something like that before. Yeah. No, this was this was good. This was good. This is from your your city. My mom, yeah. From your mother. Oh. Well, I will have to ask for something again. This is this is the best thing I've eaten since I've come to Aroas. She's gonna love that, and she's gonna love you. If you ever go to Gusthaven, go see my mom. She'll well, feed I, you right up. Uh, it depends on if if Lady Valor goes there, then I will I will follow. But uh, for now, uh, she is deep in her studies into Atelicus. Um, I will be remaining here uh, whilst you go to the city. Do keep in contact. If you need her quill, you have the ability to message Lady mm -hmm. Bella. Um, if we can offer any assistance, we obviously will, but uh, we're going to focus on Atelicus. I wish you all the best. Guys, Max looks happy. I know, I this, know. He's like still got, he looks energetic. Like he, he looks like enthused, like, oh, I've just had a tasty meal. And like, oh, that was actually really nice. It kind of reminds him a little bit of Gideon. And like, he's, he's like, yeah. No smile. Wait, yeah. guys, this is close. perfect. Tell, tell, him, tell him a joke, he might laugh. I don't uh, know any. Think of a joke. Um, um, he's like watching this conversation uh, happen. Uh, be funny, someone. Just be funny on the oh, moment. She's... I've never been funny in my life. Uh, I'm not good on the fly. I need to. I have to set. I Ayla will say. I have to write notes. Why? Why did the owl fall out of the tree? I don't why? Know, why like did this. an owl fall out of a tree? Someone shot it with an arrow. I don't like this joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> there were three guys. <laughs> And so. Uh, no, <laughs> no. Found, Actually, no, I kind of know. want him to tell this. <laughs> it's going to be on for a long time. It's going to be about joke. 10 minutes. It's really long. Yeah, it's good, though. Yeah, you tell the joke. Really good. I want to know what the audience response is because no. ours <laughs> was. <laughs> I almost don't want that this no. joke needs to become a legend, a myth that one day we'll tell it in a mm. Q&A panel or at the mm. end of the, does... when we finish the campaign, Lucius oh, will tell the joke. Oh, a story of three men, so you tell the story <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Et cetera, et cetera. Is no. it a funny joke? It is a funny that's, joke. That's Max the... No, it's not. It's, it's really it's not. Hilarious. It's hilarious. <laughs> the best I'm going to roll a d20. 11 plus, yeah. he is laughs. It, is it a great joke? It's a two. He does not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, it's a niche joke. Yeah, he's like, I don't understand. We'll tell it. Right, with that done, Anything else that you would like to do? Preparations you'd like to make? It basically, this is like I'm giving you a free day. Yeah. Do we need any potions or anything? Well, we need. So we need to disguise as Ganassi. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I've got that's you covered coming. for that. But like, I'm also going to be all wings, not. I, I've got you covered. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the disguise stuff. Don't worry about that. Okay. I've got you covered on that. Yeah, but do we? You need guys any requested a specialist. A specialist. Potions. Yes. What need about potions? What about beyond the point of disguise when we're actually at the gate? Is there anything we should expect? That's a good idea. What? what like, I mean, there seems to be some kind of check. Yeah, letting there will be in. a checkpoint. You will have to like pass well, an I, inspection. I, I, I don't. We never had checkpoints before. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Um, so I assume some sort of like check that we're local citizens. Mm. Maybe our our house. We could use your house. I I, I don't know <gasps> how. I'm nervous. <laughs> Party nervous? No. <laughs> the I will say, you don't have to. You have. You don't have to be from the city. They're accepting any Ganassi across Erois. Like you so don't have to live in the city. Okay. Show you are Ganassi. and they don't yeah. have magical Neither means to see through it. We've never had to do that before. I, I've never been there when we have. You know, I don't know if they have identification cards or what. I just mm. just go in. We well, but to... there must be Ganass that have never lived in Vortensar. Yeah, but so we there don't must have. Be what, what kind of checks would there be? I, I suppose don't know. some way of seeing through disguises would be one thing. Mm. How do we bypass that? Well, we have a specialist. I'd, I'd put my trust in Rain finding someone to help us with those disguises. Yeah. Okay. And Rain even mentioned the last time you kind of had this conversation. Horizon has a higher uh, percentage of magic users in their guards. He would say a large city like Vortensar probably won't be able to have like mages at every checkpoint, like checking for magical disguises. It will probably be a lot more of a mundane checkpoint, right? Like, who are you? Like, it'll be questions. It'll be like checking you, see if what what are you what are you bringing into the city? Like, you will need a story. Like, if you're just like, oh, we, we want to come to Ganas, that might you know be a problem. So, like, having like a, a story is a really good idea. Like, where, having some sort of established why are you traveling together, like that kind of stuff is a good idea. Where where in the world have we seen a lot of Ganassi outside of Fort and so? Not a lot, but um, they tend to be scattered everywhere, right? Like you yeah. get like pockets of them here and there, kind of like 
and mainly because they've gone out seeking other opportunities, right? Like maybe they wanted to start a business in another city because Bortensal is pretty busy and it's mm -hmm. lots of Ganassi. Maybe they wanted to take a Ganassi craft to another place and like sell it as a unique thing. Maybe they were artisans who have like desired skills and got offered a job in another place, you know, kind of stuff like that. So they do tend to get like, you know, they're not all condensed into this mm -hmm. one place. You could be be like, oh yeah, we all, we're all from Savona. We're all from Goldthrone and we, we're looking to go back home. Like, you know, you could do that. That could be a good story. But you just need to like, you know, you might want to think of names, stuff like that. Maybe. We, we need names. Uh, well, I, I can help with that once we get the disguises, because obviously the names follow no, the kind of... Oh. The names Whatever. follow the element that you you oh. are. Um, so okay. so uh, there's no point me giving helping with names at the moment, because I don't know what kind of element you are. Okay. But we could almost use our own story. Remember at Imixan, when we all got on that... Um, Oh, I almost said spaceship. Airship. Airship. <laughs> I was thinking about space. Space is in my name. Um, when we got we uh, space. Is it? Uh, I'm getting really flustered. No, okay, space okay. Vija. You breathe, breathe. You got this. We first met at Imixan at the port when we got on that airship to go to Gold Throne. We could say that we are Ganesh that met at Imixan to to get, and uh, but we heard that something was happening and we wanted to return home to Vortensar and, and we just happened to be travellers and, and we met up together. Imixan is also uh, in the continent of Gisela, which is currently under Valkyrian control. So you would be like, it would be like a, yeah, it would make sense that you would be coming from there. Now you say we heard of something. Has there been messaging messaging going out for, for a return of all Ganas to a great question. Vortensar? The one that we've know. somehow if, avoided? If there has, I haven't got that memo. It would probably make sense that you didn't get that. I don't know, why they, don't know uh, why they didn't invite me home. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Maybe we were already on our airship doing our travels hmm. when we the messaging had, was yeah. going out. I mean, you all know that the message that Callus did, which basically declared mm. what was going to happen to Aroes, like, lay down your arms and surrender, and I'll, uh, you can be, join my empire, blah, 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 that was, like, projected all across Aroes. Like, mm. that was yeah. shared okay. worldwide. Yeah. So, so maybe magic. we can say we saw Starbane's call message mm -hmm. thing and decided to to sure. return okay yeah sounds good uh, okay okay uh did you want to buy things like potions and stuff or yes all right what what kind of things are you looking for uh, money is weak. potions of healing so i think we mm -hmm. yeah all the minor are out yeah, like let me let me get a kind of like check on. I don't. I can't say what Ayla has. I'm not going to check her inventory. But who's who's got what already? I got none. You got nothing at all. No, none. None. Yeah. I have a supreme healing potion, a death ward scroll, yeah. a divination scroll, a cure wound scroll, a potion of greater healing. Cure wow. wounds level one. So it's mainly so you've got a potion of greater <laughs> healing and a potion of superior healing. I have one of every kind of potion. Uh, what, so you've wise. got standard, yeah. greater, supreme, and, su supreme and superior. Oh, so you've only got superior. Supreme. Okay, that's fine. I want to buy a superior potion. Do you want to share some Collect of those out? Set. I can do if people need them. I have a single potion thing. of healing. Yeah, regular have, healing potion. I have no regular. healing potions. Got you got nothing. nothing. I think Ayla's probably got like maybe a standard or a greater or something like that. I've got two psychic okay. resistance and one poison potion. Okay, if you want potions of healing, um, here in Horizon, there's there's. Various alchemists and things like that. You also, you know, actually, no, Rose Meadow isn't here anymore. Hope isn't here anymore. She's gone. <laughs> um, so I think that without Hope and with Azaria being focused on the Astoria stuff, you're kind of relying on on sort of more common alchemists Local and stuff vendors. like that. Local vendors. Local um, vendors. Who aren't going to be able to provide you as powerful healing potions. I've got the Fate uh, Wild button right here. You could go and visit Rose Meadow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Oops. <laughs> press it. She might have had time. Do you press it? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, Tom okay. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in Vortensar, you'll be able to buy up to, I would say, up to four regular and two greater healing potions. Is about in the best. In, in, in Horizon, sorry, not Vortensar, in, in Horizon. Um, but that's, the, that's the best you're going to get. We may as well do that. Yeah. Okay. How much would that Just be? Just in case. That would be for you guys, uh, what did I say? Four regular, two greater. Um, so that would be 200. Let's say... Uh, 700 gold total for all six. Just under half our current count of gold. Yeah, that's right, because you invested it all with Azaria. Wisely. Okay. Stoinks. What that's happened to back. the fridge as well? Oh, yeah, how's that going? I gave that to Zimzam Zimbalor. Yep. Yeah, and he's going to get back to me in a couple of weeks when he's done. Okay. No, one week. Uh, how do you want to split those potions out? 
Mm. All right. So, Quill, uh, <laughs> somebody cool. needs to write them down because yeah. if you don't write them down right now, you do not have them. I've and ideally, put them on D and D Beyond rather it's than. It's like on we the hand over the money and the potions go into our hands, and then you just yeah. I just let them smash if you the go floor. to manage inventory, I get they exist. And you should just be able to add them all. Century. So it sounds like Century's carrying all the potions. Someone Got give me a potion bag. Someone give me a potion. Okay. What would you like? Uh, regular or a greater? Two greaters. What for regulars? Greater. A greater for Nova. Okay. So, so add that to your D and D Beyond inventory. So that's one less in yep, the group. So greater healing. Wait, why are we buying these? I could have shared out one of my seven greaters. Fuck's sake! <laughs> so much. <laughs> Lucius, what would you like? I just have a regular potion. A regular for Lucius. So I'll take another one. Yes. Okay, so you have two yeah. regulars now. Because my, my. I'll let you guys. You guys can sort this out. Um, while I kind of like. Another yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you you can do it as I'm sort of like describing yeah. other stuff. Can right. I have my goggles of night back? Hell no. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, you probably should. Well, yeah. I've put it back on my inventory. Thank you. Okay. You've lost them. Take them off, please. They are just off my face. Yeah, uh, Squishy's having them. I think one thing, I can't remember if we did this. I know that when, because Katie's not here, but I know that after we finished the fight, because you took the twin blades, mm -hmm. there was a discussion about having Azaria power up Ayla's hammer. Mm. Because Katie's not here this week, because Valor can basically teleport Katie to you when you guys get to Vortensar, do you want to have, I could have her like basically leave her hammer behind um, but I need you guys to like confirm if you think Kate will be okay with this. Like leaving the hammer behind so Azaria can power it up and then send the hammer to Ayla mm -hmm. when it's ready, basically. Just does yeah, this. Work. Yeah. 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 Man, just like, uh -huh. it. just waits. <laughs> just waits forever. Um, <laughs> do, do you think that that's a wise thing? Because I mean, so. Azaria's yeah. got like what, like 20,000, 30,000 that you invested with her, I think? 20. 20,000 gold. So, and Azaria will be like, yeah, Ten. we can definitely power this up. I think it was 10. And then when Katie comes back, I'll talk to her obviously about it, but. Um, and we can, I'll tell you what, if Katie's like, no, I didn't want, I don't want to do that, we'll just wreck cry and say that she yeah. didn't leave it. 10,000 gold. Right, yeah. cool. We'll leave it for now, and it's then um, we'll say that 10. she's left it for Azara's power. It was 10. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Uh, inspiration? So, no. I've already got it. Don't do inspiration. Uh, I've got one. Can I have another potion? You've got one because you did something particularly like, you fucked everyone else over, and I was like, you can, good boy. Oh, good yeah. little I've just fucked everyone over, though. Nah, nah, it's fine. Uh, With my honesty. No. To be honest, you don't have inspiration anymore, take it away. Nobody has inspiration. No, uh, but can I do one last check and use it? No. I've held on to it for so long. What would you what check do you want to do? Perception. I want to see how good I look in the mirror. Okay, or, sure. Do you want to there see what is With advantage, is. perception check. Okay. <laughs> Just because like the problem is, is until there's a good system for inspiration, I don't really want to use it until there's like a better inbuilt rule system. Uh 37. 37. Every detail. Every pore, every like, not pore, oh. but every like, every, God. every, every, <laughs> every uh, what they call it, like, feathers? every part of the feathers, yeah. I don't know what to call it, but you look good. Quill, every quill. Every quill. Every quill of my quill. In perfect place. You look great. I look great. Yeah. But I saw everything. Fresh from a sand bath. <laughs> yeah. You Is this how everyone sees me? On your skin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. The little bugs that live in your eyebrows. Mmm. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> the little what? mites. The little right. mites. Yeah. Yeah, you've got mites in your eyebrow right now. Fuck off. Birdie eyebrows. I don't want this to be a full Just shopping episode. Is there anything else? Uh, potions. potions? Everyone's happy with potions? Mirror. I'm happy. Right. I think it's time case. for Lucius to visit a tailor and get a new line of clothing for this season. Oh. Do you want to hold off on that? No, nah, I'm joking. No, also, because the specialist is, is you, yeah. Is here. And oh. Nina will murder you. That's, I mean, we've got to change Nova's weapons anyway. Uh, so. yeah. I know. Fine. <laughs> um, so, with that then, here's, here's the sequence of things, right? You guys, Commander Rain has secured, you can't take the Storm Chaser as your airship because it's it will be recognized. Yeah. Rain and Arvel, your good friend Arvel Degas of the Degas Train Company, have arranged to have a transport, an unmarked transport airship, which is slower, take you to basically towards Vortensar and drop you off just outside the city, right? That way it won't raise up any suspicions. Um, on the day you leave, uh, Rain brings an individual to meet with you, to travel with you. I'm assuming that it's going to be the four of you, Ayla, and then the specialist. You don't want to bring any other NPCs with you on this mission. You basically want to go as is. Harry. Unless, because if you do, if you want to be like, hey, we want to take Arvel with us, like, tell like me the now. The more people we bring, mm. yeah. the it's riskier it is. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you obviously then have access to their skills and resources yeah. and stuff. But non, yes. We need non Ganassi. Right. We need, no, we need Ganassi. Yeah, so, and you don't really have any. No. Well, all right. So, in that case, as you are approaching this, um, you know, pretty standard uh, freight airship, um, it, it has like some really boring name, like the, the Grey 
hustler or something like that. Um, a hustler, the Old grey hustler. Um, it's got a pretty, bear. it's got a fairly bog standard crew. Rain has basically made sure that Horizon has paid them to like basically take you and drop you off. You're to be left alone. You have like a whole quarters. You basically have the crew quarters to yourselves. Um, but you basically, he's he's he'll he'll turn and say, I would advise you to stay in those crew quarters. Try not to go up and mingle with the crew so much. Um, just try and keep to yourselves. Keep a low profile until you arrive there. Um, and allow me to introduce you. Uh, we spoke about hiring a specialist. Um, it's taken me, uh, luckily they were here in Horizon already, um, but I had a few contacts point me in their direction. Uh, let me introduce you to, and then they are going to introduce you to. Zim Zam Zimbalo. Uh, the person they introduce you to, um, when you first see them, it is difficult to ascertain. They, they look fairly non binary, right? They, their appearance. Uh, they have. Doo -doo 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 -doo, let me find their description. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, they're human. Uh, they have short hair on one side, like buzz shaved, and then it grows long and kind of like flows down to hey. the side. Like, much, <laughs> yeah, they've stolen Kim's haircut. Um, they have soft facial features and quite feminine lips, but they have quite hard eyes and a chiseled jaw. Hey. Um, and uh, <laughs> they have no facial hair, uh, no facial hair, no piercings, no tattoos. Uh, they wear. Um, a tailor's outfit. They basically have like a vest with like a kind of measuring tape wrapped around their wrist. They have like Which very tight light pants. Up. Uh, they have like very tight kind of like uh, riding trousers, um, but with no sort of definition of, of anything there. Uh, they have like tall boots. They have like a little short leather vest um, and a little jacket with sort of almost like a mantle kind of like flowing down behind them. Looks very, very well dressed. Mm. Um, but <clears throat> apart from like their haircut, there's really nothing about them which stands out. They all yep. you, they could easily blend into a crowd. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just default NPC. Um, uh, and yeah, but but very sort of like, you know, androgynous and sort of non-binary in that kind yeah. of appearance. Um, and Commander Rain will say, uh, Storm Chasers, allow me to introduce Kay Avalon. Um, and uh, Mr. Avalon, or actually I should just say Kay. Uh, Kay will bow um, and they will say, well, these are the ones you want me to work with, uh, Commander. Uh, yes, if you would, please, as per our payment agreement. Well, very well. Uh, you've paid me funnily enough. Greetings. My name is Kay Avalon. I will be your tailor, your persona creator. Um, I'm. Uh, let us make something clear. I do not like the word disguise. We are not creating disguises. We are creating masks. We are creating personas. I will also be attempting to... Uh, I'm not sure of your skills as performers and... Um, actors and actresses, but I will also be trying to offer you some assistance in that regard as well, to enable you to better live out the identities that we create for you. Um, I have some magical abilities and I will be working with you on costumes and, and, and outfits and clothing and the like as well. Um, and, and you'll assist in the, the full persona of this, this, this character as well? In crafting it, that is my speciality, my sir, yes. Uh, okay. I, I help individuals create and forge new identities or reshape their existing ones. Um, well, we have a little bit of experience playing B and B, so I think we'll be okay. No That's idea right. what that is. Bakers yes. and blacksmiths. Yes, mm. I'm afraid. So. Is that a play? Uh, uh, kind of. It's a game where you. Uh, it's, it's okay. No, very well. Okay. My well, character died twice. I... Got washed away in a river. Yeah. yeah. A, a tragic event. Um, nonetheless, I am not sure what. If you have some experience, that would be useful. But I will ascertain your level of uh, competency. Um, uh, is there? Are there any allergies I need to know about? Um, allergic to any sort of unguents or, or chemicals? Don't think so. Uh, only like really, you know, the pokey wool and that sort of thing. I like fine silks and. Oh, very soft well. Things. I will factor that into your persona that we forged yeah. for you then, sir. Lining. Uh, what was your name? Lucius Viren Elwin Elwin Astor. Ah, from uh, Sky City, I'm assuming. Gusthaven, yes. Ah, Gusthaven. Uh, well, uh, Lord Elwin Astor? <laughs> if you must. Well, if you're yes. appropriate. Lord, yes. Lord, Lord Elwin Astor. Captain I, as well. I will factor that into your... Do you prefer uh, Lord or Captain? Um, oh, in your current, never been in your current asked. identity, of course. Captain. Captain, Captain is well. good. Captain yes. Elwin Astor. Um, I will factor that in. Uh, we can make sure that we provide you with a persona that... We want to find personas and identities for you that will feel natural. That will enable you to better perform and better to convince others you are who you say you are. So if you are used to a certain lifestyle and way of presenting yes. yourself, we will try and endeavor that in. Now, I'm, I am to understand, you you are, you are must be Miss Nova, the one I was informed about. What gave it away? Yes. <laughs> um, my understanding, Commander Rain has been light on the details, some sort of 
secret mission or some such, I don't know. I'm led to believe that everyone must be Ganassi or um, something to do with these, uh, what do they call them? Valkyrian. Um, yes, yes, the Valkyrian soldiers. Um, now, I'm afraid I don't have... I don't have pre-made armor of this Valkyrian Empire or the like, but I, if did. you can give me a description, I can, do. I can create, um, I can create uh, clothing similar. Um, but uh, I will be mainly focusing on Ganassi where possible. Um, it's probably best if we all go Ganassi because I feel like if we split and have some of us as Valkyrian troops, that's going to get real. You confusing. might have more mm. information about the Valkyrian armies and where they're stationed and what they should be doing. Mm. I assume. That would be preferable to me as well. Ganassi will be a slightly easier, um, as I'm not familiar with these Valkyrians as such. Um, yes, well, I'm ready to go. Um, do you have everything you need? You are packed, you are ready for your secret mission? Uh, I mean, so. I'm already a Ganassi. Mm, very well. Okay. I guess sit, sit back. Oh, you do not intend to take on a new identity? I, I mean, I, I probably sh should, but I just, I'm curious as to how that's gonna happen to me. Yours will obviously be less um, involved. We will keep you as a... Uh, you seem to be an air Ganassi? I'm mixed. Ah, my air apologies. Water. My apologies, air and water. In that case, we will keep you in that elemental configuration, mm -hmm. um, but it will be more your persona, your, your hair, your clothing, your visual appearance, that sort of thing we will try and change. Um, mm. We should draw this so that we have, you know... Sketches would be uh, useful, permanent yes. Memento. I'm terrible at drawing. Yes. That's well, we can arrange this. We have several days ahead of us, and we will use that time to oh, forge this new persona. Sorry, um, where yes. are my manners? Uh, and Lucius goes into a robe and finds a secret pocket, uh -huh. and he dips into it and pulls out a tiny little cylinder, uh -huh. and then he pops the end uh -huh. and takes out a tiny scroll and then hands it over, and it's all of Lucius's me measurements down <laughs> to the millimeter. <laughs> <laughs> he rolls it up, uh, they roll it up expertly, um, and they pull their little vest aside, and they just place it next to the the space of the inside of it, and it vanishes. Um, and he goes, like, perfect, that is wonderfully useful. Thank you, Captain. Um, very useful. Made, the rest I will have to, I'm assuming I will have to measure for the rest. Yes, yeah. yeah oh, you know, yeah, I, I've, I've done eye measures. measurements, but uh, you want, you're probably more accurate. Yeah, well, well I... I I don't wish to second guess your measurements, sir, but I may just. But please, you're the specialist. I'm the captain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, very well. Uh, well, I, I will go and set myself up in the quarters of the cabins. Um, we will deal with you one by one, I assume, or would you prefer to do this as a sort of group activity? Well, I suppose if we're going to get our story straight, probably group. Get yeah. to know each other. Yes, our new we selves. Know each other. Uh, let us make the initial consultation a group activity, and then I may spend some time with you one on one to develop your personas. Okay. <laughs> Very good, very good. Do you have measurements? Like blueprints or something? I don't know how it works. I don't... I, I, I've, I've only ever been measured for my tunic, but... Hmm. No, that, I was just wondering but, if that's how well, it works. Well, we, we'll figure it out, anyway. Um, uh, Kay will make themselves... They, they basically just step onto the ship and begin making themselves comfortable. They don't have any luggage. They don't have any sort of trunks or anything with them. Um, they are literally just wearing their clothing and make their way uh, onto the ship. Lucius just assumes that they've already put their trunks, heaves mm. of fabric, all that sort of stuff. It must be somewhere in the, yeah. in the ship, right? Maybe. Is it an airship? It? it is an airship, yeah. yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Freight ship. Yeah, freight ship. What did I call it? The grey something? Grey... Hustler. Shuffler. Grey Hustler. Yeah. That was like the Grey Shuffler? No, Grey Hustler. <laughs> grey Shuffler is a better name. Maybe I should call it that. Um, but yeah, you make your way, if you guys, I'm assuming you guys make your way on board and we yeah. will set off. Yeah, yeah. All right. I suppose. That 10 days is going to get cut down to seven days, as it takes three days <laughs> to fly there. Um, no. As you are flying, you spend those three days uh, working with Kay Avalyn. Um, the first time when you kind of get on board, you go and find your own quarters, maybe put your own things down or like get things set up, and you find that the larger quarters um, have been taken over by Kay, um, and they've been set up almost with several chairs, uh, a desk, but not, really not much else. Um, when you enter, Kay is in the process of using magic to conjure a secret chest, much like Quill can, uh, which uh, appears too. as a gilded wardrobe. Um, and as he o as they open it, it actually extends outwards, and you can see mirrors built into the sides of it. You can see various scissors and fabric rolls, and it's it's like a costumer's kind of cabinet of delights. We're going to be um, like Woody in to Toy Story 2, aren't we? <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, <laughs> painting varnish on your eyeball. <laughs> 
when you step in, uh, Kate will say, ah, oh, yes, welcome, welcome, my dears, come and take a seat. Um, do you prefer, is this appearance of mine suitable to you, or would you prefer something else? Um, something that may, you may find more comfortable? Wait, or? you can change it on a whim? Yes, 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 of course, yes. Oh. Well, uh, I, I'd okay, say, fine. without okay. without a word, you watch as their features morph and shift very quickly. Change um, And Kay becomes a... Um, a very glamorous, beautiful half-elven woman. The hair grows on both sides until it spills down her now back. Um, the clothing that she's wearing is still the same tailor's outfit, but she tugs on it and it immediately shifts to a very, like, quite sexual, kind of, like, flirty version of the same outfit. Um, and nails grow on the fingers, brightly coloured, like, completely shifts. And the person, like, the person... Hello, my dear. Uh, you can call me Kayla. Uh, is this more suitable? Or would you prefer something else? Quite distracting. Oh, very well. Uh, <laughs> let me, let, let, perhaps something for the captain then. Changes again, the body this time shifts, and as it shifts, uh, she now tugs on the outfit Peacock. again. And it becomes a older Sky Elf, an older High Elf. Mm -hmm. um, very regal looking, grey haired, fine moustache. Um, the outfit changes into more like a regal suit um, and sort of like changes. And again, the demeanor changes, much stronger jaw, fine elven ears. How close to my dad is this? <laughs> uh, no, he looks different to your okay. dad. This guy, he, he is kind of um, almost like a Sam Neill or like a. Oh, you know, nice. Like, and he's just like, oh. oh. Lord uh, Lord Cavill at your service, would this be more appropriate? Well, I... Yeah, I think they're all good with me. Uh, yeah, right? Whatever's more comfortable for you. Oh, well, if there is no preference, then... No I'll look around and... No. Not at all. Very well. This is uh, more a test of the abilities that you have. Yeah, I, I changes back into the original form that you met them as, this kind of more androgynous, uh, non-binary character. I don't know if it's insulting okay. to ask, but is, is this one your true form? <laughs> Not insulting, perhaps a little um, ignorant, but oh, no, I'm not wow. personally offended. <laughs> this is not. I am. Uh, <laughs> this is not my truest form. I, I'm afraid that we do not know each other well enough for me to show you that. Oh, okay. Uh, my, uh, my my birth form is what I would call it. Uh, this, however, is the form I present myself as most most of the time. Okay. Kay Avalyn is is who I associate myself with in my business and my friendships and, and such like. Um, but we would have to be family or much, much more intimate for you to know my birth form. Okay. Um, and unless you're making that offer, sir. No, 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 no. suddenly I'm, I'm very distracted. Good. Um, but yes, I, I am what uh, some folk call a changeling. I am able to shift my form as well, it. you fit. I knew it. Um, yes, you've probably heard of us before. Wonderful. Uh, yes, but uh, this is why I specialize in this particular area. My, my folk have a long history of um, these those individuals that you met that I changed into, they, we call them our masks, and they are true personas. They are not disguises. I do not like this word. This is uh, an element of deception and trickery involved. They are reflections of who we are, um, and that is why I specialize in helping others. Uh, I've learned various magic and various skills over my time to assist. Uh, I've worked with many clients, um, some governments, um, some lords and ladies who had... Uh, I even once worked for a, a famous assassin to change his form after he was uh, in some spot of trouble in the Lowlands. Um, uh, okay. Oh, they paid very well, of course. All right. He didn't work for a, a female assassin. I've worked, for, I've worked with many different people. My, my lord, you would need to give me a name or at least... Brookstone! Description. Brookstone, Brookstone, Brookstone. The name does not ring a bell, I'm afraid. Uh, Norfear, Moonstar. Norfear, Norfear, Moonstar, Norfear. Norfear does ring a bell. Mm -hmm. Something a few decades ago, perhaps, I think. Needed, needed day, disguise, day. Yes. yes. This would have been almost uh, 40 years ago, I think. Well, checks out. <laughs> Yes. But anyway, um, but uh, the reason I ask for the forms is some people do find uh, other forms more uh, comfortable. Uh, so I just wish to make sure that you are fine. Let us, that is enough about me. Let us talk about you. Uh, us, us, or yeah. who we're going to be, us? Well, there needs to be a little bit of both, my dear. Okay. Arakokra. Your name, sir, I, I, the name of Nova was the only one that was given to me. I'm afraid I don't know who you are. I've heard that you're some sort of famous heroes or some such, but... Oh, uh, well, I am Kila Kalar. I am a messenger of the Arakokras. Mm -hmm. um, 
I, I don't think I've ever worked with an Aarakocra before. This will be something of a challenge, I but one I'm quite keen on. Many extremities, this yes, wing, no, I have, uh, which is masterfully crafted. I do have an idea. I was informed that there was an Aarakocra. Um, I'm, I have an idea. Uh, you will need to be flexible. Uh, obviously, your oh. condition means that there are limitations into the type of persona we can craft for you. I have had many, many injuries. <laughs> over, over this journey, so we'll see how flexible I can be. He's quite brittle. Oh, yeah. I, I do not mean physically flexible. Flexible oh. in your in your viewpoint. Oh, okay, uh, okay. We'll come to that. We'll come back to that. Um, your name, my dear? I'm Sentry. Sentry. Yes. You are a guardian. Yes, yes I am. Guardian of Solvin. Another challenge. I've never worked with a guardian before. <laughs> Surprisingly, I think you may She's be very one of tall. She is, but I think you may be one of the easiest, actually. Oh, really? Mm. Your face, it doesn't seem to move. Is that no. set? You can't control I that. I can't control that, no. My mm. eyes can glow, though, and I turn them on and off. Well, let's not do that okay. when you're in your, in your uh, identity. But Imagine, yes. like, the human form of that is just your eyes just disappearing <laughs> and reappearing. Like you're possessed. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you do not possess any sort of illusory magic, do you, Sentry? You don't no. have the ability to create illusions or such. No, I do not. Mm, this will be a challenge. Never fear. Yes. K Avenir never never strays away yeah. from a challenge. Okay. We will find something. And you, my dear, the, the wild elf, the uh, brute one. Kayla. Oh, a woman of many few words, I see. Still, very well. Um, yes, well, very good, very good. Now, do you have an idea in mind? of a persona that you wish to embed, embody in this endeavor, this secret mission that you are on. I'm told that I'm supposed to accompany you in the city in case there are some matters. I, I will point out now, I, I will not be engaging in any sort of shenanigans or roughhousing or the like. I will be keeping as far away from such matters as possible. I will be on hand to assist you with your identities, and that is all. Oh, of course, okay. yes, Good. we wouldn't I'm expect. I'm very mm. much hoping that Shenanigans and combat is far from what we ah, end excellent. up in. We are well, of the same mind, then. Excellent. So, uh, any ideas of something you would like to be, perhaps? Well, I've, I've... This man seems a creative sort. Yes, I've boiled it down to, like, roughly ten ideas or so. Hmm. But, Give uh, me your top two. Okay, top two. So, I was thinking, maybe um, we all came, we had an idea of all having already met at Imixan. Mm -hmm. and, established uh, friendship, excellent, good. Yes, yes, we established that, and then we got the word out from Starbane himself that, you know, Vortensar is, uh, everything's in lockdown, and Vortensar is mm -hmm. preparing to move, and is working, so... You've felt the call of you hope, you wish to call. return to the city and yes. travel to this unknown place, very good, very good. So I felt like maybe I was like a deck swab or something like that, with aspirations or something like that, and uh, I've always wanted to return to the birthplace of mm. my uh, people, mm. having never been there myself, mm. or even seen the statues. An excellent motivation, mm. a contradiction, if I may. Oh. You wish to have fine fabrics and clothing, it will not sit with a deck of what's wrong. I need that. <laughs> then so. I would suggest we find you a more, perhaps, a skilled artisan. Do you have any um, skills or talents in, in no, craft well. or uh, a painter? No, or... <laughs> no. We, um, we, we greatly value opera and, and, and performance. Are you a singer or a musician mm. or a dancer? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a singer. Try it. I mean, are you? Let's. I mean, what's your? Do you have any ranks in performance? Do you have any? Because you've got a good well, charisma. Yeah. I'd like you'd be it. confident as a performer. I'm confident, but, but do you I'm have any training in performance? Okay, so no training in performance then. No. But not your so. performance is pretty. My performance high. is good, but I'd say it's a plus in a oh. musical sense. Mm. What would you say then? What, what what do you think is a skill you could bring to this character? Well, Something genuine. Maybe we can work in my second idea as a thespian. Now that does seem to be an actor. Yeah, I, I hit the stage. And a stage touring on an airship. And you've traveled to Rois, you've learned yes. so much, but now yes. you wish to see a world beyond, uh, to conquer new stages, perhaps bring tales of this foreign world back to your home exactly. world. Exactly, mm. yes. Yes, I like this. Judging by your persona, did you think of an element for the Ganassi? Oh, uh, what would you think would be a suitable element? I mean, all four elements are involved in the arts. Was it, uh, opera, for example? Um, what would that... Think less of your people, more of you know this man mm. as a friend. What would suit me? I know a little of the Ganassi people. Oh, well, I have the, read the person something. I'm becoming, the thespian. I would say air would suit you. Graceful, light. We are of a similar mind. Mm. My thought was also of an air Ganassi. It will also be the easiest to work with your existing hair and proportions to give you a sort of light, airy feeling. So, yes. 
an Air Ganassi thespian or performer of some sort. Yes. Very highly trained, very rich, very wealthy, has done well in your career. Mm. Well, I'll have to work on that. Mm. No, I'm joking. I was very wealthy. <laughs> I know exactly what that's like. <laughs> very, good. very good. I'm assuming you have the, the funds to live that sort of lifestyle uh, as an as a individual. I did, but I'm not allowed to carry the money anymore. Well, then that is something perhaps for one of your companions to think about. Perhaps an existing relationship with this gentleman. Somebody oh. who could act as a um, servant or an assistant or some such. Um, why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I, don't, I, don't know. I was just looking at you. Do you think I do? You have something of a similar or relationship maybe a, a, already an existing? Uh, an agent. Oh, mm. an agent could be good. Well, I was a little worried about the thespian and taking arts to an. Uh, would they not? If someone asks of previous plays you've written or acts, performances, do you have any prepared? Many. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, why, why would we? Uh, as who we are, mm -hmm. be travelling with a thespian and, well, whoever uh, this Ganassi will turn into. <laughs> we could all be a ragtag bunch that met at Maybe. Elixan with similar um, destinations, but not the same career paths. Yes, mm -hmm. you do not necessarily all need to have known each other for very long. Okay. Yeah. But I is... just, it will help if you are, uh, I will also say this, if there are those amongst you who are um, less confident in your ability to perform and to... Uh, Pretend. Um, I would suggest basing your your this persona, this identity, much to what you are as you are now. Um, if you do not think that you are very good at pretending, if you already have an existing relationship, if you are already friends, try and incorporate that into your character concept. If I could make some suggestions, mm -hmm. Vort and Sar is. Well, I guess a fairly cultural city. We love the arts, we love performances, opera, theatre, but also sports. We're famous for Battle of the Elemental Mountain, sky jousting. Well, we didn't create sky jousting, but we have sky jousters. I think that this is something you and you, pointing at Ayla, should listen very much intently into. Mm. I do not think that this one needs to... Uh, food. Food is a very important element uh, as well. I, we I, have I, cul culinary competitions. My mum is a champion of several. I, I, had, I had mealworm usually earlier. I just had a particularly <laughs> good nasty... Well, if, if something that may help then. Academia. With your... Uh, academia? With your academia, so, that would be very the, wise. The Atlas Academy is very prestigious and famous. Oh, okay. If this may help. Allow me one thing. With your proportions and your form as an Aarakocra, yeah. we will be unable to rely on physical disguise elements as you will be much more reliant on my magical abilities. Okay. Now I have a spell which I intend to cast on all of you to enhance the physical changes we will already be making. In the cases of Captain Elanasto and Nova Vija, even Sentry and Ayla, uh, for the most part these will, the, the, the magical spell of seeming will be used to enhance what I'm already going to do with prosthetics and, and clothing and the like and things like that with you, dear Kilek, is it? Yes. Um, this, the seeming spell will be predominantly how we disguise you. Out of everyone, you will need to be the most cautious of being physically touched. Right. My okay. intention, my plan, was to make you as a air ganassi, or perhaps a water ganassi, and using your feathers um, to maybe a cloak, and then keep your wings tightly closed into your body, um, and uh, perhaps a bit of a hunchback with your kind of the way that your body is kind of crooked down with your bird-like uh, appearance. Mm -hmm. um, a sort of, uh, sort of perhaps a more older hunchbacked sort of figure with your feathers and, and uh, being represented by wisps of long flowing airy hair, or perhaps kind of tendrils of water. Um, but they would be, you would need to. We need something to avoid people touching you. So I was thinking of making you look a bit sickly, um, perhaps oh. a little bit sort of um, haggard and dirty, uh, if, if smelly. It, now, oh, oh, would, okay, now I, I should make you aware that I can, I have impeccable senses. Uh, now, <laughs> this smell, mm. would it be too disorienting Disorienting for me to... It would be unpleasant, have... but not disorienting. Right, okay. like something, uh, 
in this sort of field, subtleties work better than um, overwhelmingness. Um, okay. When you imagine yourself, you are walking down a street, um, and a hunched, cloaked, rather dirty, haggard figure comes up to you, and they smell. Um, you are more likely to brush them off and be like, no, and, and ignore them, aren't you? In many cases, many of us will. Um, sure. Many people will. Um, if we make it too overpowering, you will become recognizable. People will remember the stench or remember the smell. We need enough to deter people from interacting with you, but not enough that people remember you by. Okay. Uh, in, in that case, if I am a, a, an old, uh, I suppose, well, it's a little bit weird because I am three and you're going to make me quite old. It's, uh, it's going to be difficult. You already to... sound far older than any elf I've ever spoken to. If that helps. A bit of an old soul, which is... Oh, well, wise. Mm. Wise and cultured and you know things and have seen things. You will need to mask your voice a little. Is that something you think you could handle? Oh, uh... uh um, Give me a sort of old... Uh, what uh, Do you have a grandfather or a grandmother, perhaps? Well, yes, but... It's five years they old. <laughs> have you contacted your mum recently? Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, Add some words. Oh. I've got some good vocalization there, but maybe add a, a, a sentence. Uh, Say, um, please, sir. Please, sir. I am from the Atlas Academy. That's very I, good. Very I, good. Uh, okay. No. Yes, I think that's something along those lines. We'll work on it. <coughs> we'll work on it, and I can provide you with some. I can provide you with some lozenge and things that will help I'm with so the. So frail. Very good. Yes, there we go. I believe that. Yes, yeah. very good. Very and now I'm back. I, we know that. Mm. He is very frail. He's had a lot of interest. Very frail. <laughs> now, obviously, I know that this is not the most glamorous identity. Is this something that you would be willing to work with? This sort of more, um, not repulsive. That's too strong a word, but um, unpleasant sort of character. I mean, if it avoids people touching me. Uh, and preserves the disguise, then that would be wonderful. Um, and Nova Vija, would, would you think that if we were to give Kilek a sort of very long air ganasses hair that almost would have sort of tendrils flowing down it to mask, if anybody does touch, it may give us a momentary, they may mistake it for airy feathers sort of uh, thing. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of a bit culturally insensitive to touch hair without consent anyway. Excellent, so. good. So the, if we make it nice and long, Yes, they may very well done. But the, uh, my hope is that Valkyrian forces would be even more unlikely to distinguish the touch of a feather with sort of That's air ganassi hair. Um, if we make it quite long and cover, mm. yes, very good. Are, are you amenable to this sort of identity? Though? Yes, I, uh, but does this also incorporate the bee? I was thinking a sort of a much more pronounced hooked nose. Uh, we oh. will then shape the face around the features that you already have. Obviously, you will be the one, if anybody does touch you, mm -hmm. it will be very obvious that you are not what you appear to be. So, okay. whereas the rest of them, I can work it into their physical appearances. But you said, like, physical touch is already frowned upon. Hair, so, I believe, yes. Mm, hair. So if I... Because we have so many different types of hair, I mean, look at mine, it's quite different, you know. Fire Ganassi yeah. actually has some heat to yeah. it, I understand. We just don't touch each other's hair. Are you able to maybe um, uh, uh, disguise my staff to look yes. like a cane? Yes, 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 yes. And then I can Again, meet. it will be magically disguised, um, but for a cane, it would simply... The tip may be difficult. Mm. We may have to cap it with something. Um, okay. I, I have some uh, moldable clay that we can wrap around it that will hide it, and then the magic illusion. Now, this seeming spell, it lasts approximately eight hours. I do not need to concentrate on it, um, which means that, and I can cast it, uh, such magic I can cast only a few times a day. Um, the general idea being that t you will go out in, for the most part, you will need to come back to me uh, midway through the day for me to replenish once the spell is nearing its end. Okay. Uh, then I will be able to replenish it. Um, I think that to avoid this, to do what I can best, if you are caught without the seeming spell, we will wrap your features in bandages, we will try and make you look sort of as disguised as we possibly can, but it will be difficult, okay. um, even for my skill. Um, but you will need to return to me, and then hopefully, after 16 hours, um, that will be time you will be sleeping and resting, and that will be plenty of time. We can hopefully do that in privacy, where we will not need the seeming spell, all right? Right. Yes. All right. Well, it seems like we've got two ideas down already. Um, I will do you last, Miss Nova, if that's oh, acceptable. Oh, okay. Yeah. If that's sure. all right. Just because I feel that we, you already have such a strong identifier, it is useful to have your assistance and your expertise for the others. Sentry. Hello. Now, if I may, do you, if you already have an idea, I'm willing to listen, but I do already have some thoughts of my own. Oh, interesting. I was thinking maybe like a 
guard of sorts. Mm -hmm. But for for guardians, our names our names are our jobs. Mm. Kind of. I think that's how it works. So I could be guard, or I could be. You could literally be a part of a battle of the elemental mountain team because we have guards in that. <gasps> and they guard the plate bearers. So a sports and athlete of mm. sorts, yes. That sounds uh, amazing, yeah. Now, would, now Nova Vija, this is an excellent idea, I love it. Would it make sense that one of these athletes may have gone away from Vortensar for a time and then returned? I know that this sport is quite localized to Vortensar. Perhaps um, they've gone away for training, perhaps, mm. and they are now returning to the city. We Would that make acceptable? I, I do think that is encouraged. I remember Tornado talking something about... No, my sister Aurora is part of um, the Elemental Mountain team currently, but they do encourage going out to see actual mountains and explore, you know, train in different environments, in fire, in water, in air, you know. And my... my my suggestion for you, Sentry, mm. would be an, an Earth Ganassi, because we have already so many natural elements to mm. work with. Your stone, your armor, we can give that a textured appearance to make it look so if somebody were to touch you, it would feel naturally like stony skin. Imixan is quite mountainous, isn't it? It is, yes. So you've been training such. climbing ah. mountains there. Brilliant. We have a story, we have a character building. I like this, I like this very much. Um, with regards to your appearance, uh -huh. The hair, I think we could leave. I've seen Earth Ganassi that have sort of flowery, vine-like hair. The armor, we can leave. Your physical armor will disguise it, will okay. give you a sort of appearance, paint job, that sort of thing to make it look a bit more worn, a bit more chipped. Ooh, what colors, um, what colors? I'll, 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 I'll look up, I'll, I'll, I'll check, oh. and see. There will need to be a little bit of magic on some of these areas where the wood is coming through. We'll okay. need to disguise those to make you look more humanoid and, mm -hmm. and, and Ganassi-like. And then your face. Yes. Now, this is where the problem begins, because we have no way you do not show any sort of emotions. I was thinking, perhaps, some sort of scarring disfigurement that prevents too much movement of the mouth and the eyes, mm -hmm. um, and then perhaps some sort of mask or, or sort of uh, face mask to sort of hide it as much as possible, Okay. if that is acceptable. Well, it, it could be that sometimes I've seen, you know, Aurora comes back sometimes and injuries happen, and, and I've seen sometimes players with, you know, nose gear and face gear because they've broken their noses or, and then things like that to protect them. Good. So and something I'm thinking okay. to cover sort of the lower portion of your face mm -hmm. and then maybe um, some cracks and breaks in a sort of stony face to make Ooh. your, so that you don't blink and things like that. Okay. So, uh, it will be a little bit trickier. You will need to make sure that you convey these sorts of injuries successfully. Okay. Um, but I think that that may be the best way that we can deal with your unchanging features. Of course, yes, whatever whatever works. Mm, whatever good. you can do. Very good. So How Earth Ganassi, I think, yes, please. My, my lance. Starbreaker. I imagine this could be quite tricky. Yes. Do you have any methods of storing your equipment in extra dimensional spaces? Bags of holding and the like? And I mean, I have, yes, I have a chest, but it's chest sized, not. Mm. Um, this is also, you can only summon that when you use specific spells, can't you? Does yes. Ayla have a. She has a Hewitt's Habit Handy sack, yes. I believe, yeah. So, so that's she can a, store yeah. our weapons in there, yes. Yeah. Okay. Ah, I would, I would suggest that you keep such, because these magical weapons that many of you I can see are carrying, <laughs> they are very obvious, and even if I were to disguise them with illusory elements, um, they can be detected through spells. Now, I have a limited ability to mask magical auras, but I can only do it on four things. Um, do, 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 does this count as magical? And Tiangong just, like, appears. Like... Please don't do that. <laughs> keep them... I don't know who you are. This is Tiangong. And Tiangong is like, I'm Tiangong. <laughs> and just sort of speaks. I, is this a sort of spirit or familiar or some such? I, I, I don't know what this is. Uh, Either way, don't do not do this. this. This would be very difficult. I can't disguise them. I can't it, hide them in any way. And it would mark you as some sort of magician or mage. It would draw attention. Sorry, Tiangong. <laughs> it is acceptable. I can still speak with you, Nova Vija. I will be here if you need me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the echo kind of manifests. Only do this, your abilities, your spells, your weapons, your fighting, only do this in the absolute utmost demanded circumstances. Remember, you are no longer going to be heroes of these powers. You must think of yourselves as citizens of, of normal people. Um, avoid using these powers unless absolutely necessary. Uh, doing so would, <laughs> uh, you may be able to get away with it now and then if you can be quiet, if you can be subtle, but the more you use it, the greater at risk Not it will be. Not even a cantrip. 
cantrips, low-level magic, you will be fine. There are many individuals, and he, uh, with yourself, we can establish you as a being magical uh, performer of some sort. Um, the wise scholar, perhaps, could have some level of magic. A guard could have some minor magical abilities, but avoid using, especially anything powerful, anything that will draw attention to you. Okay. Um, but like I said, I can mask some minor magical auras, but uh, not many. So if you can store this lance, your uh, do you have like your shield isn't magical or anything yet? No, is it? it's no. Not, okay, no. so yeah, the shield we can leave, okay. and I have um, mundane weapons I can provide you with and equipment to something that would fit. I have a pl plethora of a, a whole armory if, at my disposal if need be. Um, so I can provide you with mundane weapons, but I would keep them stored away if possible. Okay, um, um, my matrix. I, I have an aura that's active all the time. I will need I... to mask that. Okay. It will still be active um, and powerful. Uh, if there are any powerful spellcasters who can analyze magic, they may be able to pick up on it, but I can mask it for most detect magics and identify spells and the like. I can okay. hide it from those. Um, things like true sight will unfortunately see through it. Okay. But that will be the case of all of my illusions, mm. um, I'm afraid. Um, but yes, we will need to mask your aura, your, your, this powerful magical emblem in you, I think, yes. Uh, okay. Very good. Um, with this lovely wild elf woman here, um, Fire Ganassi would be my first thought. Absolutely. Red, yes, mm -hmm. of course. Yep. Uh, temperament, and she'll kind of, at this point, Kay, uh, Kay will, like, they will ask you, like, so obviously Katie's not here, like, what you think will suit best for Ayla. Um, mm. Mm. I think definitely some kind of sports. Yeah. Either a sky jouster or a battle, you know, maybe on perhaps the same teammates. team. Yes, right? Perhaps yeah. teammates, that would make sense. We've gone to train together, uh, build on those friendships you have. Ayla's probably like, I'm not very good at lying, so yeah. I hit stuff, and I'm friends with them. And, and you pretty, like mountains? Yeah, and you're elemental. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I like fire. Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, well, lightning, because Ayla's got lightning, isn't yeah. she? Mm -hmm. Do fire Ganassi have lightning? Not really, no. Oh. Lightning's not actually really mm. an element that we can Can't control. do fire. Okay. Oh. Well, I, I can use the illusion to make the hair appear more flaming. Mm. Uh, we may need to, um, these, mm, it's very curly. Um, what could, we'll do something with it, but it may need to be a style change. Um, it would also be easier if it was shorter, my dear. Is that going to be a problem? Uh, I can lengthen it again afterwards. I'll let Katie decide if she's okay with that. Um, but yeah, uh, they'll, Katie will basically go around and, and create a, a fire Ganassi mm. athlete, we'll say, on the same team. And then finally, uh, Kay will, to, to, uh, will come to Nova. Well, do you have any thoughts? Um, no, no. Yeah, no. Food, but I'm no good at food. Are you, tell me about yourself. What do, what do you enjoy to do then? Uh, books. I like reading books and studying planar magic. Mm, books, you're scholarly. Mm. Perhaps then if you wish to be something involved with food and scholars, a reviewer, perhaps? I do not know if that is a thing. If I believe that Ganas has printed documents and, and newspapers and the like. Yeah. Um, a food reviewer, perhaps, or a traveling uh, writer uh, or some such who has been writing about different cuisines That'd around the Yeah, everyone, you know, the city does like learning about new flavors and techniques. Yes. That, that could work. So something like that. What sort of standing do we expect for oneself? So we have a sort of very low, poor standing, sort of mid athletic a very high standing performer. Um, what about yourself? Do you see yourself being more sort of upper, sort of uh, well to do, quite wealthy? Do you see yourself more sort of middle ground or perhaps on the lower end of things? Probably, probably definitely middle. Middle. Yeah, middle very yeah, well, yeah. very well. Yeah, so not too fancy. Um, the clothing will need to be changed. Uh, the hair, would you prefer shorter or longer? Oh, uh, uh, I. Mm, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, can I be a boy? Yes, of course you can. Of I've course. I always wondered what. I, can I have a beard? Yes. I've always wondered what uh, I look like with uh, a beard. Uh, oh, my, my apologies. Perhaps that was not clear. You are in. Oh, this decision of your identity is entirely up to you. It, things like gender and and even species. I mean, obviously we have to make you Ganassi, but Grunt. we could change that. Um, I think that we should keep you as Ganassi for the purposes of this. But um, yes, if you wish to be a different gender, if you wish to have different... Ganassi makes sense for all of us. Yes, it does, Ganassi makes I... sense. If you wish to have longer hair, shorter hair, you wish to be more muscular, more thinner, skinnier, more voluptuous, more sexual, more plain, it, it's entirely up to you. These are your identities. 
I'd, I'd like to be I've a... worked with many who I have helped transition through to different uh, genders in, in permanently and temporarily, so yes, of course we can do that. I've always wondered what I'd look like with a beard. Yes. What sort of beard do we imagine? Long, short, full, moustache, goatee? All? Oh, we can't do all, but perhaps a full beard, perhaps? Uh, what would you... I, I don't know, what would you suggest for a feud, food reviewer, journalist? I want to keep like? you... Would you wish to stay Can your I... current age? Do you wish to be older, younger? Oh, maybe a bit older. I'd like to, you know, I always see people stroke them like they're trying to be Get wise and, mm -hmm. yeah. Perhaps a sort of, not quite middle age, but 40s, uh? 50s yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine a sort of uh, cropped but still full beard. As long as of... I can stroke it and look wise. Yes. Um, hair we can make shorter, cropped, shaved on both sides, but a little bit of length on top, perhaps. Um, yes, and then we could fill you out. We'll need to change your body proportions a little. Uh, be a bit more muscular. You will sort of uh, change a bit. Um, <laughs> Muscles. Uh, with, with, obviously, with an appearance, we can make you look more masculine, but obviously... Physically, you wish to remain as you currently are, or do you, would you like to have the physicality? The, and I'm talking biologically here, of course. I have magic that would enable you to be fully transformed for a period, if you wish. Including down? Yes, that is what I mean. I'm trying to be polite. In the... Yes. Trousers. You can stay as you wish. Unless you intend on going around getting up to all sorts of adult behaviour, I don't think it's. Oh really no no matter. no no! I'm a well, I have a I have a girlfriend. Then it is up to you. But you can choose to have one if you wish. I have always been curious. A perfect time. It would be temporary. I would like the full transformation, please, Kay. Very well, very well. Well, think of that then, and that means that we will need to do a bit of more work because there is a much. It is not just the physical and the appearance of a gender. I've noticed that males tend to scratch themselves down there a lot more in public. And it's fart. True. It is true. And burp. Those are very... And pick their noses and wipe it on things. There is. There are, <laughs> there are many men who very do not funny. do that as well. Very funny. I've uh, seen you do it. Lucius has never done that. <laughs> and I, do you know what? I actually think Lucius probably doesn't. Do no, that. but Nova is planting a seed of doubt. <laughs> yeah. And I think yeah, that it's, it's probably like, that. maybe you have seen it, but like once when he wasn't thinking. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Lucius tries not to. And we, then you turn around and Ayla is... Yeah, like, Ayla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Flick. Yeah. Maybe uh, a, uh, Lucius just did a little delicate poop in, in his yes. sleep. <laughs> poop in my sleep. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's like, very <laughs> Like a <laughs> oops, I shit myself. <laughs> oops, just a <laughs> rabbit poop. <laughs> no, I'm actually you poop rabbit pellets, yeah. Well, just so we know that there will need to be a bit more of um, we will need to spend more time with one another to pre prepare you for such. I am well. ready for this challenge. Very good, very good. Um, you mm. sort of seemed interested when I was speaking about some of that stuff, Sentry. Was there a, a viewpoint on some of that element as well? Is was there a particular look you wanted to emulate? Obviously, you are quite locked into your current form. I am, yes. You're, this is an opportunity to explore different ideas, if you wish. Hmm. Um, I, 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 hmm. We could make you more shapely, more feminine, more masculine. We could make the hair longer, shorter. Hmm. We could make you... I can't do... You are quite tall. I can make you a little shorter. Uh, I can make you a little slimmer, but not too much, unfortunately. Hmm. I, uh, the limits of the spells and the magic and what um, chemicals and, and alchemy I have access to is limited. Hmm. What, do the, what do the physiques of these guards tend to normally be like? Big! Big? Really big. Really big. Okay. Because they have well, to guard the plate bearers, muscular. so... Yeah, well, that, that would fit in with what you already currently okay. are. So, yes, we can make that work. Nice. But that, but that doesn't have to be. I'm sure that there are athletes who are slimmer and, and things, oh, there if are, you want to be. There are athletes of all sizes, but the, 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 the purpose of the guard is to protect the plate bearers. So, in Elemental Mountain, teammates have big ceramic plates strapped to their backs and they have to try and traverse all these different elements and mountains. So the guard is there to kind of like block and protect from other team mm. throwing things to try and smash the plate. Okay, cool. So obviously different, mm. different physicalities mm. help from different yeah. areas. But many tend to be larger and more muscular yeah. and sturdy. For guards yes. at least, yes. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, brilliant. So whatever, whatever I can do to make it as easy as possible. Then we will keep you in your current physicality and, okay. and current build and the like and such as well. Sounds um, good. And um, forgive me, I, your friends refer to you in such a way and you seem to have a more feminine persona, but is that what you prefer? Is, is Do you see yourself as a, a, a woman or a female figure? I, I Guardians don't really have Gen no, that is what my assumption. I apologise for my assumption. No, 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 not at all, not at all. I, pre I present as a more female because mm. I was modelled on, 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 the, on the Queen of Solvent. Ah, I see. So, is that something you wish to re replicate in this Earth Ganassi then? I guess, I guess so. I guess it's how. Yeah, I think well, so. If that's what yeah. you wish. Thank you. Very good. Very good. 
Captain, you are happy with your concepts? I'm assuming male as well for yourself. Yes, I, I think re relatively androgynous. Yes, yes, oh yes, perfectly. We can definitely do something a bit more non-binary then for you as well. Obviously keeping physicality the same, but something that can, uh, delicate features perhaps. Delicate, um, keep them delicate, yes. Very yes. Delicate. yes, very good. Well, I have plenty to work on. Um, we'll need to do this individually. I have some measurements, I have some uh, costumes and the like for you. Um, I suppose, let us talk just briefly then, before we get into the sort of sculpting of costume and, and outfits and things like yes. that. Yes, Couple of costumes. Yes. <laughs> clothing, let us, let us call it clothing. These are going to be the clothes of your new identities. They are mm. not costumes, very much that they are not disguises. Well, <laughs> depends. Well, yours I, I, should, I could have a costume. So, speaking of, <clears throat> whilst <clears throat> part of my fee that I've been paid, um, I <clears throat> include a number of magical items and objects for you to use. Um, I have uh, with me, um, and Kay will reach in, they pull their vest, and they reach in, and their hand disappears into the vest and then they pull out from it, uh, almost like a, its own bag of holding, like the vest itself is a bag cool. of holding. Mm. Uh, they pull out a number of different objects and they lay them out on their, uh, on their, uh, their massive glamorous uh, dresser. Uh, they lay down six vials of what appears to almost be a perfume with like a little perfume spray bottle. Um, they lay down three cloaks that are wrapped up with a slight magical hint to them, and then uh, a bolt of a shimmering magical cloth these, pointing to the perfume bottles, Kay indicates, are bewitching perfumes. Uh, yeah. They will give you a very brief um, advantage when interacting with weak-minded individuals. This will not work on anybody who has any mental training or has any sort of um, significant experience in the world. Out of character, they work on creatures with a CR of one or lower. So, like so a charm person. It basically gives you advantage on charisma checks, right? So this perfume against like regular people or low-level guards will give you advantage on charisma checks against them. Okay. Um, and there's six vials. Uh, when you spray it, that uses the whole vial, and it lasts, I think, for I want to say four hours. Um, okay. These cloaks are cloaks of many fashions. Uh, they can basically replicate the look of another cloak. You wish to change its colour, you wish to change its design, the hood style. Very good if one has to um, blend into a crowd or perhaps quickly change uh, uh, their appearance in some form. Um, and then the last one is something I call shift weave. Now, for example, when you saw me take on my different personas, my clothing changed. Uh, shift weave uh, can hold up to five predetermined outfits of a similar style and colour, um, but it can change their shape, their form, their nature, um, and it will remain there until you choose to change it again. Uh, I only have enough clothing to make one suit for one individual. This is glamorous. This is Final Fantasy XIV glamoury. Uh, no, this is actually a thing from D&D, uh, Shift Weave, but it is very similar. You basically can program, program five outfits, but it all has the same look. Okay. So like, if you wanted like a red and black outfit, all of the outfits would be red and black, but they could be like different styles and cuts and shapes and sizes and stuff like that. Okay. Um, but they all have to be of a similar kind of nature. Um, what was the cloaks again? Sorry, the three cloaks? Cloaks of many fashions. Um, they can use to, basically you can change their color and their size and shape, but they will always look like cloaks. They cannot replicate anything else. Um, good for a very quick, uh, oh, I saw somebody running past in a red cloak, and you duck into an alley and change it to a short blue cape, for example, um, on the like. Um, could be useful to you. I'm afraid I don't, uh, I'm not some enchanter. These are things related to my craft. Um, and with regards to your changes, there will be certain elements of um, physicality. Now, I can't make somebody a completely different race, like a Ganassi, but, for example, as I offered and spoke with Nova, I have chemical agents that will temporarily change your your sexual, uh, your sexual your sex um, to match that of your desired effect. Uh, they last, uh, it lasts 30 days, but I also have an antidote which can end it sooner. Um, I don't mind trying it for you, 30 days. I you, could try it for 30 days. It should be noted, if you, if you were to take the same potion again for another 30 days, um, that can make the changes permanent. Oh. Uh, this is something which is, uh, this is an alchemy secret that many people use across uh, Rowis to uh, suit themselves. Um, but yes, uh, I also will provide you with a potion that can dispel the chemical within you and it will change you back to your current uh, body. Um, Thank you. And the like. Um, things like, but it will only change your sex, things like the musculature, the facial hair, that will all be part of the seeming spell and we will use a prosthetic for the beard and things like that as well. So, um, 
Angle looks Latex so handsome. Latex beard. <laughs> it's a solid block. Oh, it's so itchy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, because I know we appreciate where it's time for a break, but uh, do you have, before we go on break, are there any, like, requests or questions about these, your outfits? I was thinking... Yes. If I root my uh, character in fact and have it as just someone we've met who wasn't a Ganassi, so won't be going back to thingy, uh, to Vought and Sar, I could... What? Well, that's the point. You are going to Vought No, but... The, but I don't understand. If I pretend I'm this character... Right. ...and they're not going back to Vought and Sar, there'll be no conflict of like, hang on, we already met this person, uh, but they're not I'm, Ganassi. I'm struggling so to understand, they're not going so I'm just going to let you, I'm just gonna let you finish. They exist, they're real, and I can draw inspiration from them, and there'll be no conflict because they're not going back to Vought and Sar because they're not Ganassi, but I'm going to be the Ganassi version of them. Right, okay, so this is an NPC that you've met that you want to yeah. place yourself on, okay. And it's it's Dean Simon who from Callie's Rest, I looked up his name, Okay. <laughs> who uh, was was working. He's like an old man that we he was met. He the old librarian, that's yeah. right, I remember, in the Temple of Hesper. Yeah, yes, in the Temple right. of Hesper, which means I can then just carry on with all the uh, the Hesper stuff and have like the chain and everything like that, and still pretty much be Quill. But you would be a, a Ganassi version of and this character. I know his story. You do. You're still going to be making things like deception yeah, checks and to. stuff. Yeah, you're still but pretending, but still, it's a good idea. I can yes. lock in as, I like a, the idea. as a person. Yeah, so you've great. done a character study, is what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. yeah. For someone that we met like twice. Yeah. 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 Well, I hung out with them quite a lot. This is identity the theft. Yeah. It is. Mm. But you have changed it a bit, so it's fine. He's no. It's like popularity. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's like if you change it enough, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Um, but do Ganassi follow erosion gods? No. Well... Some would. I would say, so I think I've said this before, that Ganassi aren't atheists. Like, they're not going to look at Siaska and be like, that's bullshit. They, they, they know that gods exist, but they, and they know their principles, but they don't necessarily follow them. They follow their own principles and guidance and the guidance of the council. Mm. Okay. And but, like, it's especially tied to the elements. But yeah. I imagine that there would but still there be... there would probably still be some who are like, do you know what, I... I really... Uh, this means yeah. something to me, and I yeah. really, you know, and, and it, it's impactful. So it's and they, like they wouldn't be completely. cast out for it. Yeah. Yeah. They, they'd perhaps be a bit it, unusual, but they wouldn't like be... it'd be like going to foreign countries where Christianity is yeah. the primary religion, yeah. but there would still be people that have encountered it and gone like, yeah, this really speaks to me, and I, I believe this. Yeah, yeah, you know, exactly. There would be that, but it yeah, would I mean, be... It would definitely make you stand yeah, out. Yeah, that's the thing. It would make you stand out. But there probably would be, and you could probably, Quill could sit and work with Nova on this, that there are probably a lot of principles for, I would imagine, water and air. Well, I would say that even there could be specialists in Vortensar on Erosian gods. Yeah, you know? like you could be a scholar of yeah. Esper. Like a religious oh, scholar. Like if you wanted to be a, if you wanted to be a cleric, like somebody no. who draws magical power from something, what I was going to say mm. is there are probably principles in water and air mm. that would match up to a lot of Hesper's beliefs yeah. and could be similarly like, yes, preaching the wisdom of Hesper, but saying like, yeah. oh yes, the tenets of air actually yeah. lead me to think this, and that, it's all based on That Hesper. would be a more scholarly, professory type thing, is investigating and that journey of seeing the links between mm. Erosian religion and um, Ganassi, elemental, tenets, ele yeah. elemental and, and like you say, like, yeah, like, here are the similarities, here are the differences, you know, studying that kind of thing, and Locked in. Yeah. <gasps> right. Nice. nice. Uh, all right. Uh, any other questions or things like that? I also, I, the other thing I will actually quickly say, sorry, try. <laughs> it's just because I, when I started yeah, speaking, fine. I had an, an idea. Mine's uh, dumb. K does have other spells. <laughs> Mine's really um, dumb too. So K can cast uh, four. Uh, they basically have two spell lists. They can cast any of those spells um, from that list, and they have four slots for each list. Um, they can cast things like Enhance Ability, um, enlarge, reduce, fabricate, creation, magic aura, Where? major image. Um, okay. They can also, and then their main one that they're going to use is seeming, which is up to I think six or eight creatures. It's basically a disguise spell f on up to six or eight creatures, oh, cool. um, and then they can cast that. Oh, it's one slot for, and it lasts eight hours, and it can't. Oh, it covers great. eight of you, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, How but many slots do they have with that? They've got four. Well, they have four, so they have to. They have four slots for all of their spells. For everything. Yeah. Okay. So they mm -hmm. can only. They can basically cast that twice, and then they've got gotcha. two other spells. Yeah. I might make that six slots, actually, because that's a bit more. Um, the thing to note, seeming can be dispelled. Right. It oh. is disguised self, so if somebody touches, it yeah. goes through it. Yeah. It's not like a transformation. It can be dispelled. Um, it's not concentration, and it lasts eight hours. Um, okay. 
That's those are the kind of key things. It's you can find it in D and D Beyond if you want to read the spell up. Um, what were you going to say? What was your dumb thing that you were going to do? Can you remove everything? I don't want nipples. Yes. Mm, okay. I don't want. I want to just nothing there. No Obviously, wibbly, that no wavy bits. If somebody were to find you unclothed, that might be a bit curious, and you may need to have a hard time explaining it. But I could do that if that's something you wish. Yes, I want to try thirty days without wibbly bits. Thank you. Yes, of course. Very well. Appreciate that. This is Kim to Mark. Do I roll for genital size? You have Look, to. Look, I can I now. Have to. But I can no. now. But I hate that that is a thing that we have established in high rollers law. Yeah. That that is a thing we do. I've it's, done it. It's, it's, it's not. It's Reed not inclusive, it. is it? We did do it actually. Yeah. Not twenty on. You got no, that was energy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. Right. Well, we will do it. But I think what we'll do is we'll do it just me and you, and then you can reveal to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You can, you can make a thing. All right, <laughs> that's it for part one. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll be back for part two later on. But hey, yeah. thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye. See ya. Go drink. Hello, and welcome back to part two of Erois. The party have left the Sky City of Horizon. Are en route to the city of Vortensar. They have had to forego the Storm Chaser and are on a sort of freight airship uh, as they make their way. And they are accompanied by a new specialist who has joined their team for this mission uh, called okay. K. Avalyn. <laughs> huh? Sorry. What? He's just making okay. a dumb joke. Uh, okay. Called, yeah, okay. Uh, a changeling okay. called K. Avalyn. They have various, many other persona names and, and personalities, but their sort of standard one that they have appeared to the party in is called K. Um, and they are a sort of illusionist tailor uh, and, and crafter of personas and identities. And they are helping them forge these disguises before they reach uh, Vortensal, uh, which is going to take a few days. Um, I don't believe there is... I mean, we kind of talked about all your different characters and stuff. You will need names. Oh, yeah. Um, and oh, if yeah. there's anything else you want to do regarding mm. okay. your new dis personas, uh, this is the time to mention it. Um, what, what, do you, what do you guys think? This is kind of like mm -hmm. the cloak that I'd be wearing. Um, I, I, I mean, the staff's quite big, but it might work as a walking stick kind of thing. It's just mm -hmm. I don't... I was thinking maybe I could try and impersonate. Uh, do you remember uh, Dean Simon from from Kaylee's Rest? Dean oh. Simon Simmons. Sorry. Dean, Dean Simon Simmons. Yes, yes, him. Uh, well, I was thinking he's not a Ganassi. He won't be going to Vortensar, so I should be able to impersonate somewhat him, I suppose. But then, how would? Why would I be traveling with you guys? Um, and also, what is my name? So you're an Earth Ganassi, right? Air. 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 Well, air. air. Yeah, air. Air, air or water. Air. It, it oh, could okay. work as either. Yeah. But air, air. More for the drifty hair. So what's like the naming conventions? I, I, I haven't, I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't really met a huge amount of Ganassi. So, so our names tend to be based around kind of the element that we, we, we are born as. Um, you know, you met my mother as Breeze, my father is Wade, my stupid sister is Aurora, and my stupider brother is Cloud slash Tornado. Which one's the more... Okay, yes. Okay. There's the hierarchy. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so I mean, what sort of name do you think would fit with a scholarly old... Well, you're not uh, born old. Well, I'm old. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, no, you're right. Benjamin Button scenario. Who? What was Who's your... that? Have you not heard of the legend of Benjamin Button? I need to write this down as my thespian. <laughs> no, it could be one of the famous stories. play. I think he was one of the, the free men that um that Lucius spoke about in his The Legend oh, of the Free Men Joke, no, he, I don't think he was in there. They didn't yeah. have names, but they could. They could have had Benjamin a name. Button. They could have had a name, yeah. Anyway. It's not part of the joke, it wouldn't really work. But no, I haven't really heard that tale, but um, either way, I mean, something airy, something... Windy, gust. Gust. Gu 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 gust. Sorry, I like gust havens. Kay, Kay just sort of like sits back and is letting you kind of formulate things. Uh, is is dust not like a, a, a more earth ganassi? Gust. Gust. Dust. 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 dust would be dust. maybe gust. a mixed okay. air and earth. Billow. Billow? Billow. Billow. Willow. Mm. Yeah. Would you like a suggestion? Huff. Oh, uh, yes, if you if you have one. Wisp. Ooh. Wisp. Mm. Mm. Again, quite a young name. Sounds young. <laughs> but the name would a name passes through generations. I think that Wisp could work for an older it would not be it would not stand out against an older figure. And I think a young person could also be called Wisp. Okay, Both. Wisp. Uh, would we need last names? Uh, that is a question for your your Ganassi expert, I'm afraid. Mark. Vija. Um <laughs> I think that like it's that classic thing of like we generally don't 
We don't really do refer to the names. Yeah. Like they probably do, but I think that they would be kind of the generic like verb plus noun, mm. like Merriweather and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, they'd just yeah. be generic Erosian surnames, or like uh, uh, I guess they would be Ganassi names actually. Wisp. Uh, Will of the Wisp. But I don't. I, th I think people don't tend to just. They don't use their surnames. Like surname okay. is like cool. more meant for like Good. businesses <laughs> and things like that. Wisp. Uh, yeah. Also, I think if I was Wisp Vija, I, I mean, I don't know. It would, that that would be probably alarming, I suppose, given. You know, what? Oh, that's oh. true. Yeah. Why are we... Associated with the heroes. Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. Set out to destroy the Valkyrian Empire. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Yeah. You do have quite an unusual surname. Vigia. Wait, yeah. what? Don't be a Vija. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be a Vija. I'll do my best. Just be Wisp. Okay, I am... Wisp. wisp. I, I'm Wisp. Mm -hmm. Ooh, get away from me. So Ooh. I think that as you're kind of like Krennus' persona, so K will... <laughs> The, the the head of the Spear of Destiny gets covered in this kind of malleable clay. Like Kay pulls out like a like a jar and mel melts it, and it quickly dries into like almost like rock hard kind of like wood. Mm -hmm. um, and that kind of disguises the tip, so it's no longer a spear. It looks more like a quarter staff now, like almost like a gnarled, natural looking branch or something that's been pulled off somewhere. Um, Perfect. Um, <laughs> And then the cloak, uh, Kay will kind of surround you with this big cloak that draws quite tightly in. Um, around your feathers, they dress you in full clothing so that most of you, like, because you don't normally wear, like, a full shirt and trousers and things like that, but Kay makes them for you so that it will sit and fit right and stuff like that in case anybody touches you. Um, when Kay's making all of this, they actually, uh, as they are kind of, like, fitting you, a little, <laughs> a kind of little creature that's almost made out of like a, a thread bobbin, uh, like a thread uh, little spool um, with uh, little arms and legs and holds like a little needle. Uh, and it uses its like, they can command it almost like a little creature to like help them sew and make things. And it kind of like climbs up you and then sews itself <laughs> onto, like, as like a way of helping sew and make a, oh, an so outfit. Cute. A little spider thread. Yeah, and uh, they, Kay kind of, your face is like mostly wrapped in bandages and then they use like a kind of almost like a, a prosthetic over your beak to like replicate like a fleshy like material. And then they basically, you kind of look like, um, like somebody who's got a disease that you're wrapped <laughs> up, like this big hunchback as well with your bird sort of like wings kind of tucked up in. Um, and like you're having to like keep your wings pinned back and stuff like that. And your hands are just like right in front of you. So they're like really spindly, yeah. and sort of, like, you know, closely held. Um, but when they use the illusion, it completes it, and yeah, you look like this kind of wizened, long, crazy, wild, wispy hair all over your body, like old air Ganesi. <laughs> but uh. not not too like crazy, wild, like like a wild man almost, from the hills. Like. Yeah, like like the kind of person they're immediately going to spot in a crowd or whatever. Yeah, there's an element of that just because you're so wrapped up in these bandages. But then, uh, but you definitely have that look of like. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to meet this guy, like or like you know, like go up and disturb this guy. Naturally, he's going to lecture you for ages. The last thing Kay does is they pull out another perfume thing and they spray you with it, and it makes you stink of garbage. Oh. <laughs> like, well, actually, no, because you're like an old man. It's like old like man. Like, yeah. yeah, it's like you know, old worn books, but like stinky leather and stale. like you haven't washed yourself. Stale, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, it went into my nose. <laughs> the voice is What's really good right now, or is that voice. just because of the... the oh, it's we'll not need to voice. get used to it, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yeah. stand over here, if that's all right. Do you have any sweets, like boiled sweets in your pocket? Are you crying? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> And then does, well, does like, cool, you, you have, have yeah. armor, right, you have magic armor, don't you? Uh, do I have magic armor? You have the wyvern armor. I do. I don't think it's, is it magical? It counts as magical, yeah, it has uh, resistance against poison or magic or whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, I do that. You will either need to take that off, um, or uh, it will need to be hidden, like hidden, magic. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I also have I can only that. do that on four objects. So your Five staff things. is one. Mm. Your staff has a magic aura, uh, Nistel's magic aura cast on it to hide the magic aura. So he's still hold it's like a walking. Stick. It looks, it will now look, an, uh, against things like detect magic and stuff like that, it will just register as a non magical item. Okay. Yeah, I think that's epic. I mean, other than maybe the Wayfinder's Guide, I think that's something that has to kind of stick around. Wayfinder's Guide, as long as you keep it in like a bag or something, yeah, I think, it um, should be okay. The habit sack, we yeah. can put a lot of the stuff in. Yeah. What about my eye? 
Your eye, so the way that Kay's made it look is like you're blind in that eye. Like it, because okay. like it's because it's already cloudy. Mm. And unless somebody's like looking at you and sees the sparks of thunder and lightning in it, it would just look like a cloudy, blinded eye, and you still That's have like the scar and stuff. Okay. Um, so it kind of just looks like a oh, one eyed, crazy old man. What about the ability though? The ability, yeah, it's still fine. Yeah, all the abilities still function as normal. Yeah, and the ability of the storm eye like, has always been indistinguishable for everyone to else. To everybody right? else, yeah. yeah. Again, they just see a very slight flash of lightning, but yeah. you'd have to be, like, staring at you like that to see it. Okay, cool. You know? Nice. All right, so Quill, a.k.a. Wisp, is done. <laughs> Anything else? Anybody... <laughs> I only picked on Quill because he started describing how... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. If, if, anybody else? Role play. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, we role I'm ready. Any ideas? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> Now, you also, so probably for Lucius, uh, Kay will remind you that they can make one outfit using the, um, blah, 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 where is it? Uh, the special stuff that they have. Well, you're going to be Ergonassi, weren't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's going to be Ergonassi. Um, and yeah, they have a special uh, material, this uh, shift weave, um, that they yes. can make an outfit out of, which five you can have outfits. up to five programmed outfits in. Do you want that for your thespian? Yes, please. All right, so Lucius is going to have that. Um, and yeah, like they, you know, they, uh, it's up to you really what your character looks like. The only thing is the Ganassi elements is your hair. Um, they almost have it kind of uh, float a little bit by using like a special gel that kind of keeps it kind of like, it almost seems to like pull away from your body. Um, and then Kay will probably say to you like, if you have any magical sort of cantrips that you can use to sort of create a bit of air or sort of gusts and things like that, that would be very useful. Um, I have dancing lights. Um... Not particularly useful. Can you create illusions or anything? No, I'm not that illusionary. Never mind, never mind. Well, we'll use the gel for now and it will sort of create it, so it looks like it has more volume. Um, but we oh God, acid splash. No. No. <laughs> um, unfortunately, yes, this will be the best we can do with your hair. I have light, how much do you want me to change it? I can lighten it so it's almost a white, like a wispy, cloudy white. So out of character. Yeah. You know when Galadriel goes fucking crazy over the fountain? Okay, yeah. I don't know how that looks. <laughs> I can't remember him. I can't picture in my head how that looks. Well, essentially, as an elf, when right. she's it's got going... real like white hair. It's like oh, so I will be your queen because yeah. because it inverts the color and yeah, polarizes basically it. Basically negative. Okay. <laughs> but you want to have like luminous white almost hair, glowing. Yep, yep, that's easily done. Uh, Kay pulls out from their tailor's vest, uh, sort of like a a bottle, like a lotion bottle, works it into the hair, and it becomes bright white, and it will stay that way for 30 days. Is this a days. conditioner or something? It feels. Uh, it is a magical dye. It will last about 30 days um, that will can be washed out with repeated use and things it's like that. not bad. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, but yes, that will stay in that way. And it's. Uh, do you want it longer or do you want it shorter as well? I think as, as I adopt so many roles as this, I, I probably would have it at a regular length. Not too long. So a bit shorter than we Maybe a little short. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, yes, yes. They'll take out Paris. So I can adapt to my role. Like, get a pair of scissors and cut your hair. Uh, okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, can, I can grow it back. I know, it's just not. It's fine. The last time we did this was for very different means. <laughs> and it's very good. It? Kay's very, very good at what they well, do. I was disguising me. <laughs> it was a bit more. Oh, no, it was very similar, actually, yes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they cut your head to like a sort of more reasonable length, like maybe like shoulder length or yeah, something. Yes, so like I can tie it up or hide it under a mm -hmm. cap or something. Yeah, I think rather than maybe like rather than this gel to kind of give it volume, maybe tied up. They kind of do like a man bun thing, so it kind of right. has like a flowy look to it. Yes. Um, yeah, they kind of give you that nice. kind of look. Nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, uh, you'll need to think of a name. Clothing wise, uh, I've programmed in a few different sort of outfits for different roles. Um, you can decide what those are. Um, but yeah, generally they don't change Lucius too much. The only other thing is that with magic, they have to make your ears appear human. Um, so, but they can't make though, they can't really do that physically. So it's all illusion, basically. The hair is like almost hiding it. And then, it. Yeah. So, like, the base of your ears will be natural, but the top, if anybody were to touch it, they'd be like, oh, that's like an ear. And it, it's something there. Hair. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, other than that, uh, names. What about Cloud or Squall? <laughs> Squall would be very fitting, I think. Yes. Tempest. Fall streak. That's a type of cloud. I looked it up. Or a uh, <laughs> azure, azure, or cerulean. Nimbus. Nimbus. I think something quite theatrical. Cerulean, iridescent. Cerulean. Mm -hmm. We could add a little bit of iridescence into there if you wish. Mm. To the hair, perhaps. I do like all colours. 
Uh, the last thing as well, you mentioned about um, removing sort of uh, physical parts of yourself. The wobbly bits, yes. They hand you a potion. Drink this. Um, uh, and focus <laughs> focus on, on the intended uh, intentions. You drink it. Quite sweet. It'll take it takes about an hour for the full process for the full effects, but you'll uh, it should be painless. You shouldn't feel anything. Um, Still got nippies. Yeah, but over the hour, the design effects take place. So I'm now action man. Smooth. As designed. Or Kendall, I guess. Lucius doll. Uh, all right. Yes. All right. I will leave the rest. Anything? Any other elements? I leave to you. Um, anything else? For anyone else? Wait. What was your name again? Sorry. Didn't pick one or two. Did you go with Cerulean? I like the azure. 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 Mm. Azure. Like the azure sky. Blue sky. Oh, azure. azure. Uh, is I'll it be... azure? Yeah, azure. Yeah, I never know. My, azure, my yeah. stage name is Azure. Azure. Yeah. You pronounce it Azure, but it's Azure. Yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. Azure. Yeah. Nice. It's Azure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's like tornado and cloud, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> uh, so for Sentry, not much needs to change. Uh, Kay fashions you this kind of like mask um, and uh, really doesn't do too much more. Your armor, they give a fake appearance of making it look more worn, because it's not magical armor, is it? You no. You normal mundane plate, yeah. don't you? They make it look more worn. Um, they add like, they almost do some weathering effects to make it look a bit dirty and a bit more kind of like, you know, uh, you know, uh, broken and sort of like, you know, not cracked, but like mm. it's seen it's seen a lot of more, I mean, it's seen a lot of use anyway, but you yeah. can tend to keep it a bit more pristine. So they make it look a bit more dirty. Um, your tabard, they have to take your tabard off, like you have to put that away. And then Sentry would take it off and do like fold it, like neatly, put, put it in the bag inside. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and everything you can keep in your bags and stuff. And instead, Kay will measure you and fit you with kind of very standard looking Earth Ganassi clothes. I'm kind of imagining like three quarter length sort of almost shorts, yeah. leaving your feet quite, you know, exposed, maybe with a pair of sandals. Um, Ooh, it's your first nice. time having to wear shoes. Ooh. Like, it's very strange. I can um, feel the wind on my feet. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, <laughs> maybe like a loose tunic uh, underneath the armor and stuff, or maybe like a gambeson, like something that like you know a humanoid would have to wear to protect themselves from chafing against the armor. So like a brown gambeson, like a padded wool kind of gambeson underneath it. Um, and then yeah, just like this kind of pair of like almost like three quarter shorts, and then like no armor on your legs. It's just all on your body basically. Um, and then be exposed. Yeah. <laughs> and then they use the seeming spell will fill in like all the wooden bits, overlaying them with fake flesh cool. that has a greyish tone to match the stony cool. parts of your body and armor that they make look more textured and rock-like, making nice. you look like an earth ganassi. But you just have a very, like this face mask is the thing which is covering your sort of unblinking, cool. unmoving mouth. <laughs> I might um, like pull like, my hair forward a little bit to try and just help blend mm -hmm. the skies around the face and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like the long vines kind of come yeah, down. Let yeah, let it come forward. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Just. Very, and you appear to be a massive, very imposing looking Earth Ganassi woman, like of warrior type. What do you think? Uh, Quite the transformation. You look yeah. amazing. <gasps> Thank you. I feel so comfy. Cool, could you stand over there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll just back up over here, Stan. My eyes are starting to water. I was trying to take in Sentry, uh. which is not your name anymore. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I suppose God is a bit. Too guardiany. Yeah. You need a name. Crag. 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 <laughs> I guess like <laughs> it would kind of almost be a little bit like wrestling. Like you'd have your name and then like your kind of wrestler's yes! name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember the guy from Avatar. <laughs> the, uh, oh yeah. The Who's actually the played by Mick Foley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know that's actually Mick Foley? Who does oh. the voice for that? Ah. Yeah. Boulder. Boulder. <laughs> Boulder? So you're going to go with Boulder or Crag? I like the Crag boat. food. Craggy Boulder. Boulder Crag. Boulder Crag. <laughs> Craggy <laughs> Boulder? Yeah. Because that would go with your face as well. It would. That could, that could be your, like. Yeah, you, your... that's the other thing, is your face is definitely marked by, like, heavy cracks, almost like mm. scars. Mm. Like, almost basically obscuring one whole eye. You can still see out of it because it's mm. an illusion, but it, like, almost covers one of your eyes. And then your other one is, like, there's no eyebrow, there's no, like, you, you can't move it. It's, like, heavily broken up. Like, you look pretty fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe, like, Boulder Dash could be, like, your. Not my sports name. I don't know. I guess my 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 my, my autograph name. Maybe, maybe <gasps> yeah. I sign as the Boulder Dash, but yeah. I'm Crag. 
Crag. I like it. Crag. Crag. Yes. Slash crag. Very good. Okay. Crag. Very good. Crag. Very good. It's important that you like the names that you give yourself. Uh, I do like it, yes. Good, good. Uh, then with Nova, we'll leave Ayla because Katie's not here and I don't want to make any decisions for her, but with, uh, with Nova, you are given a potion which will temporarily alter your physical sex. Um, it won't change like musculature or anything like that or any other body parts and things like that, but it will change, uh, yeah, parts. I don't want to say it. I uh, don't want to be crude. But I was about pee -pee. to shout it out, but pee -pee. I knew you'd make a face. Um, yeah, so that will take a place and you know, it, that physical change, but Kay will then, uh, you get a prosthetic beard, first of all, um, and then over that, the illusion is going to make it look more airy and watery kind of thing to match your existing hair. Um, so a kind of embellishment. Yeah, now air Ganassi, <laughs> Ganassi hair, obviously it's not cut because yours is like cloud, it's cloudy or, but can and it be, I, I kind of imagine it I could almost it be cut could. away and then yeah. it just fades to nothing. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like a leaf blower to it. Yeah. yeah. So uh, <laughs> Kay will cut your hair to be like almost short and cropped yeah. um, with the understanding that when this mission is finished, Kay can just mm. replenish and It'll grow be like, back. And... You know, when I went through my K-pop phase and mm -hmm. shaved my hair real short? Yeah. So it's just kind of like, <laughs> like buzzed on the sides, kind of keeping a little bit of length on the top, but that kind of cloudy, yeah. wispy substance. And then the beard matches it. It's so almost like a kind of very straight beard. Um, I got a beard. You are given uh, like latex and makeup on your face with the same kind of bluish skin tone to make yourself look older, but also to like build out your nose, your cheeks, your, your jaw, it's to get a bit more masculine, sort yeah. of like traditionally masculine, I should say anyway. Um, and then the same with your body as well. Like uh, Kay actually makes you a sort of undersuit that you wear under your clothing that like pads your arms out to be a bit more muscular, pads your shoulders, um, uh, a binder, and and then basically, yeah, makes an outfit of mm. fitting of a kind of like a writer and a book, you know, critic and things mm -hmm. like that. You keep your satchel. Um, again, any magic weapons, uh, like you either have to put away or Kay can still do, can still do three mask auras. Um, so. But it wouldn't just, it wouldn't mask the fact that I got two giant fucking magical swords on my back though, right? Uh, because they technically count as one item, the yeah. Eclipse Twin Blades are a unique item in that they're two swords, but they always count as one. Kay can mask them so that they don't give off magic. They'll still look they ornate. They still look like a big... They'll look fancy, but yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean they're magical. They yeah, could just yeah. be made ornately. It's just um, a bit weird that there's a journalist just going around with two whopping yes, great swords Yes, that on would certainly hand. make a uh, play yeah. to it's it. It's a rough there. Yeah, yeah, it is a rough world, yeah. 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 <laughs> Now, Kay can make them look like other things. Like, they could make them look like... A, a, Kay like doesn't a, have to, uh, because Tiangong can. That's true. That's true. Tiangong um, can change their shape. So yeah, if we could mask the aura and then Tiangong can make it just like a little, little dagger. Yeah, they can make them look like a pair of daggers. Yeah, they yeah, have to look like a pair because they are two. But yeah, they can make them look like a pair of daggers. They still have that the same visual elements of the Eclipse to it's like the mm -hmm. dark and light kind of thing, but they would look like little knives, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like throwing just knives for protection, almost. Yeah, yeah exactly. I guess so. Like somebody a traveler might carry for protection. Yeah, yeah. Angry chefs, you yeah. know. Tiangong hasn't ever assumed a form of cutlery. Would Tiangong also be no. insulted by that? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, uh, K will still mask the magic on Tiangong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. No, but no. do you have any other magic items like that you want to keep on your person? Um, I guess the breastplate is, is that magical. It's um, ether something. Ethereum breast breastplate. <laughs> it's not magical. It's not. Yeah, it's not magical. It's just made from Ethereum, which would be very expensive. So K can make it look less expensive with the illusion. Amethyst, Lodestone, Helm of Teleportation. Both of those are magical items and are very obvious ones. I'm going to take off my Stormcrawler chain. You're going to just take it off completely? I'll take off the Helm the of The prismatic tele gauntlet, by the way, would look like... Um, it would just be made to look like part of you. Okay. And as it's a focus, is it uh, like magic? They will need to mask it as well, because it does have magical properties. There's I'll one mask left. I'm taking off the Helm of Teleportation. If I could have my Amethyst Lodestone masked, but obviously that depends on... Yeah, well, the only thing I just need to check is with Katie, because I don't think anybody else has got anything else. You would need to unequip your Flame Lance, just because that's like, oh, yeah. built into that's your arm. The Helios. Bag, so gonna... Helios would have to be either gone or masked, yes. Okay. What about I'll my wing? Helios. Your wing isn't doesn't count as magical, it's mechanical. Oh, but I do it. Oh, even though I tune to it. Yeah, which I want to change anyway because it's unfair that you have to attune to get your arm back. Well. Okay. I mean, yeah. I'll take it. Tom loves cabbage. But I, I'm not going to do that today, but that <laughs> okay. is something I would like to do. Yeah, I just kind of. do list. Yeah. Yeah, well, I've taken Because Nova made it and it kind of is. There is a magical element to it, but it wouldn't register as a magic item, mm. I don't think. Okay. 
Well, I've uh, yeah, I've gotten rid of. Well, not gotten rid of. I've uh, or even if it did register as magic, it would have come up as a prosthetic arm, and that yeah. could just be explained as like yeah, because it's I used arm. air elemental dust to yeah. make it. Yeah, so it can like. Waft. Well, I don't have the Wayfinder's Guide anymore. Um, not on you. Not on me, it's in yeah. the bag. Yeah. And the Wyvern Armor. Yeah. So I so guess my AC was be reduced. Just well. take it off and it should do it automatically under yeah. beyond. Um, and the important thing to remember is like these items, you still have access to them. You just, it will basically be, if you're putting them in Ayla's bag, you have to be next to Ayla and it's an action to get them out of the bags. Okay. Um, yeah. Right? I think so that, as long as we all go in with fighting stuff weaponry more than anything, um, and yeah, if you want any mundane sport. weapons, Kay can provide them to you. They, they can literally provide you with any weapon in the player's handbook, a, a mundane version of it. Mm -hmm. So like if you want to have a rapier, if you want to have a, a greatsword or something just on as a separate thing, you can have that. So I think for Sentry who has had to hide the lance, you might want to have a backup weapon. Yep. So like if you want a battle axe, you can have a battle axe, you know. Um, if you want to have a hammer, you want to have a war hammer. Morning star. Um, I and suppose you <laughs> still have um, like your original you your shields. No, I gave that to Danica. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, with regards to the halberd, you would just want to be able to use your shield because it's two handed. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever you want. You can. I'll let you guys figure that stuff That's out. Quill's new name. Wisp. Oh yeah. Wisp. Is there a Craig? I think I'm gonna call Zuri. myself. I ha I don't know if this works, but like Julian, as in like you know, use Julian oh, vegetables. Oh, cool. But it's also. Very elemental, though, is it, but it's, Julian? No, but it's my pen name. Right, I see, okay. Because I write for the okay. culinary magazines. Yeah, okay. Well, what's your Ganassi name? That's a pen name. So I'm still mixed, aren't I? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Kay's not changed that. So, um, water and air. Yeah. Oh, um... Mist. What's the name Steam. Hmm. Sous vide. Sous vide. When you oh, yeah, when you steam. Oh, my God. Sous vide. <laughs> steam cook. Very funny. Is that like a vacuum seal? I just wish, yeah. yeah. Like vacuum seal and then you cook it in water and it's the steam and stuff. I guess yeah. it is a food thing. I just wish the sous wasn't like cooker. sous, like a feminine. True, oh, true. Yeah. Sal veed. Sal veed. No, Sal Ron. <laughs> or just veed. Um, yeah, veed. Sous veed is pretty good, yeah. Do. Do? I'm trying to think of like. Oh, as in do. Yeah, yeah. Like, do. Yeah. do. Do. <laughs> do. I might have do. to get back to you guys on that one. You know me, sure. ten page backstory. I can't you can't put me on the spot like that. You might you might Julian need it is soon, your pen name. But okay. Well Julian that. Julian is my pen name. Spray. There's ch ch Spray. They're, they're, they're suggesting spray in chat. Nice. Oh. So you're spray. What about a spritz? <laughs> Moist. Spritz. Spritz, spritz, spritz is, is really cute. Yeah, yeah, is okay, cool. spritz. We're going with sure. spritz. Alright, spritz. Damp. And again, we'll, I'll chat to Katie. Well, moist. Moist. <laughs> moist. Mm. moist. Moist. It's more of a water Ganassi. Yeah. yeah. Moist. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then Katie, I'll talk to Katie because I don't want to make any choices for her while she's not here. Uh, Squirt. <laughs> Kirsten! No! <laughs> Stop looking at chat. Put chat away, please. Gosh. I don't like any players having chat. <laughs> I know you need a name, it's fine. But what? I don't want you there when they're Leak. all moaning about oh, stuff. Leak. Leak. Um, <laughs> Trot looked at me and I thought he had like a knowing look in his eyes, like he had something prepared that he didn't want to say. I probably shouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> is it rude? Of course it's rude. Look at him. Look at that face. <laughs> it's always rude. Um, mice. Right. That's the group. Are we going to have to. Okay. That Crab. Is. With the group. Spritz. And to be. Decided. TBD. But it won't matter. I'm not going to use that against you as well. Like, it's. Just, yeah. We'll put, Ayla is on pause until Katie's back, basically. Um, all right. So, if there is anything else, uh, you know, you basically spend the three days, once you kind of have these personas, Kay will spend three days with you, desperately trying to help you, uh, I, you know, create that identity in a more realized way. Not just building out the details of a backstory, but also, for example, with Nova, it's like, changing the way you walk Walking. and it's things like that for quill it's like remembering that you've got to walk with like you know you don't have your wings you've got to walk like a person but um, i have to change my voice as well like yeah, the voice like does myself. deepen naturally because right. of the the, the potion. potion that you drank yeah. it has a natural deepness but it again like k spends time with you like you're being too you're modulating your your tone it's more too melodic as mm. from because you, you know your natural speaking voice you have to make it more monotonous a lot of you know traditionally men have very monotonous voices yeah, yeah. Um, i don't know what the fuck you're talking about 
though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again, we're only talking about like you know traditional societal yeah, kind of, like yeah. norms and stuff like Very that, much. right? Like because that's the idea as well that you want to blend in, so you're trying to be as you know Boring socially normal based yeah. vanilla as you can be in most cases. Um, uh, but yeah, so that is complete. So unless there's anything else you guys want to discuss amongst yourselves. Um, one thing I actually not forgot to tell you, but it didn't come up till now. Um, obviously, as well, when you get into the city, what's the plan? Like, did you... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to Nova's. Right. Um, we've got to be careful about that. Yeah? Because it is... It probably will be watched. Hmm. Mm, possibly. Um, we could try and... I don't know if, if uh, we can communicate inside the walls of Vortensar, but we could try and reach out to... Any Norfield? Um, On that, you, that's the one thing that I forgot to mention is that Norfield would have left some, like some in her last message. Norfield would have provided you with a, if if you come to Vortensar and, and need to reach me or find me, there's like a cryptic, in a very spy-like fashion, a cryptic message that was left. Um, oh, but that's already self-destructed, right? No, it's fine. Oh. Um, th th you learned this before it self-destructed. Oh, too late. <laughs> um, uh, North Fears Last Communication had a message that said, in the fire district, there is a food market called Sm Coal Smoke Street. It's crowded and busy. Look for the sign of a spicy rabbit and order the Bantau mix, Sky Elf style. Uh, Coal Smoke... Coal Smoke Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Look for a sign of, the sp of, of, of a spicy rabbit. Like doing sexy dances or you know, Harris all the, all it says is spicy rabbit. Okay. Um, and then order the Bantau mix, Sky Elf style. Okay. So no chili. <laughs> Basically, that's what he, Nova knows. That's what it means. <laughs> it means not spicy. <laughs> no flavor. <laughs> yeah, no flavor. Um, the then there is a small message after that which just says if things ever go bad find somewhere to lay low you don't need to write this down though this is just a this yeah, is yeah. like a instruction uh, if things ever go bad find somewhere to lay low in the city blend in for a few days and then look for anyone or displaying a sky jouster's favor uh, that basically indicates that somebody's a friend of the seekers but it's warned against doing this unless you're desperate because that obviously puts normal people at risk yeah like, these are just like normal citizens but they're the ones who can help you find if if anything goes wrong they'll try Try and find a way to like sync you back up with the seekers. Um, okay. Anybody with a sky jouster's favor on them or in their shop or on their house or something like that. Sure. Um, okay. So that was just a little bit of information from uh, Nanny Norfolk before you head off. So you have at least that idea. That's so cool. My nanny was so cool. I'm is, starting to learn that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. She is cool. I don't know why I use the past tense. Is she okay? I presume so. She's still sending messages to us. Mm. She's okay. Yeah, of course um, she's okay. She's, she's Nanny Norfair. Yeah. Uh, do you happen to know the way to uh, Coal Smoke Street? Do I know the way to Coal Smoke Street? Yes. What is that song? It's a famous Ganassi song. Huh. Like I said, we're very into music. Do you right, know okay. the way? I like, I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Uh, well, maybe on a couple of listens, but anything more than that, if it gets repeated over and over and over again, I imagine it really grates on you, though. We have a song like that. Um, I think they call it earworms, where it's called uh, "Baby Grung Doo 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 Baby Grung Doo 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 Doo." Okay, I'd like to throw in the "I don't want to make that canon." Daddy Grung Doo 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 Doo. Daddy Grung Doo 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 Doo. Non canon. That's declared non canon. Stop now. Deleted from the board. Cut it out, Tom. I'm being censored here. You are. Yeah, you are. Don't want to be censored, don't come up with shit sh content. <laughs> I, I bet you everyone loves it. I bet everyone in chat is like, that's I'm great, sure they, I'm sure that's, they do. Just because chat don't loves it, doesn't mean it's good. Uh, wow. <laughs> sorry. Chat. chat. Chat likes Smeek. I'll put it that way. Vindicate yeah. me, chat. Vindicate right. me. Okay. It's not allowed so, to show up on the wiki either. No. Um, warning. Crispy's more friendly. Crispy will put it in the yeah, trivia, yeah, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys want to chat about your plans and stuff, there is also some special gameplay mechanics that <gasps> I can tell you about. Uh -huh. so you I'm going. Different. Well, I was, I was hoping on having a 30 to 45 minute uh, introduction Robot. between all of us of meeting our brand new character. Please don't, please don't. <laughs> that would genuinely annoy me. Nice to meet you. Oh, God. Uh, you don't, don't need don't, to do that, you know each other. <laughs> 
we don't know. No, we, we don't know. No, we don't know the new we don't know. You can, we are. You can decide that, that's fine, but Remember please don't it. just roleplay like, nice to meet you, I'm Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey it's, it's more locking in who we are, our relations to each other, yeah, why fine. we were in a mixan. So. I was there reviewing a new restaurant. Oh, oh is that the voice? Mm. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> is that your voice? I, I think so. Does, oh. Do I sound masculine? I, I think, think so. I think it's very good. <laughs> I think in world it probably works a lot better than the voice you're doing at the table. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it is. Um. <clears throat> uh. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I, my name is Wisp. How did I find myself in Imixan? You might ask. Well, I had a library in Cali's Rest, but some bastard burnt it down. And now uh, I find myself traveling ever since they joined the goddamn Erosian Front. But I came to Imingsan, part of the, the uh, what do they call it nowadays? A new, uh, the army. Hey, does he have down. to smell like this? I, the, it was only initially. I don't think that Kay has continuously sprayed him with this stuff for three days. I can still smell it. <laughs> it's probably still lingering in the room. But. I'm a little worried because I can't smell it anymore and I'm worried I've gotten used to it. Mm. Is that bad? This is very I, convincing. I, I, I'm not very. My sense of smell isn't. We don't have Existent. one. Existent. No. <laughs> I, I'm using my uh, air ganassi ability of not breathing. Oh, I wish I had that. I don't need it. Can't smell it anymore. Well, I guess not. Not breathing, but holding my breath indefinitely. Mm. Interesting. Oh wait, if ganassi air ganassi don't smell st- uh, with their noses. Then no, we do. We just can hold our breath indefinitely. Okay, then well, they probably choose just to not smell and me. And remember, Wisp, you are also an agonacy. You can also hold your breath indefinitely. I can't. Quill can't. Whoever that is. No, but you need to pretend that you can. Oh. I don't smell like anything. Huh? Mm-hmm. And, and what about you? Very convincing. As, as, as your... As your right, so give me a moment to get into character here. Okay. Hello. Wow. I am Azure. Unbelievable. And I am extremely wealthy. (laughs) (laughs) And I act and do other things too. (laughs) Wow. I have five outfits. Please tell me, what plays have you been in? Oh, I've been in many plays. Name four. Uh, Here's a few of them. Okay. Um, A Plumbus and Me. One. A Plumbus and You. Who? The sequel, I like it. A Plumbus and Us. Oh, wow, this, the franchise just kept going, didn't it? <laughs> a Plumbus No More. Oh, oh Mr. That, that was the horror. And then the gritty reboot, right? <laughs> a Plumbus. Returns. Uh, Returns. <laughs> Origins. Unchanged. <laughs> and then finally, the Divine Tarasque. Oh, oh, my favourite. Okay. I remember watching that one when I was just a wee little boy. Well, you wouldn't have, because this is actually quite a new age is one it? for the young oh. Ganassi that I'm hoping to inspire and get rid of these old traditional ones. I think, it's, I think one thing I should introduce to you all is the concept of yes and. Uh, when speaking with no. one another. No, I don't think, no. <laughs> Try not to uh, immediately say no to each other's. If somebody introduces something about your character, if you have not already established it, try and lean into it and then go forward with it. Okay, uh, okay, very Just well, to prevent you, because an argument of yes, no, yes, no would draw attention. It is much better to accept and move on. New yes. <laughs> rot. <laughs> uh, what about you? Uh, very muscular, I him not. huge. What's John. your name? I, no, I don't <laughs> want to know your name. I don't want to know your name. I'm just... Pre- people will be talking to you in the city. These are the kinds of pressing questions we're going to be getting when we are in Vordensar proper. I think he's lost in the road. Oh, I just... I, if I, getting into it. The thing is, is, he's not going to have that good of a performance check because his charisma's not like that. <laughs> no, so. it's not, but, well... This is one of those, like, Tom's anyway. performance, great, but Quill in universe is like... Terrible. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That means a lot. Anyway... Hmm. Tell me about the sport of what was it again? Uh, Sky jump. Interesting! Battle, battle of Where did you Earth. come from? You battle must be a sentinel Earth. from the uh-huh. Heroes of Erois. Outed. Bem. <laughs> <laughs> battle of Elemental Mountain. Is it Bem for sure? And you're, 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 a, you're a guard. Oh, guard. You guard plate, guard. plate I'm not, bearers. I'm not, a, I'm not a soldier of Solvin. I'm not a guardian of Solvin. I'm a... Guard from the Battle of Elemental Mountain. Okay, 
could you transform into a Valkyrian guard? Mm, I could. Uh, I, I, I have diagrams. I do not have any of their clothing or armor. Or perhaps I, a, uh, an imposing figure. I can make myself look like. That would give physically, a, a yes. shakedown of someone. Yes, I, physically I can make myself look like anything, but I don't have. I would need to procure clothing or oh, that's costume. Fine. I have. I have imagery of of the armor of, of what they would look like. Yes, if I can see that, I could. I have a little bit of spellcasting energy. I could create a shadow version of it for a brief period of time, or I could, if I could find some materials, I could make something. Yes, if you could give me a sketch. Uh, I'd show the data slabs that I have, oh. you know, with all the, you know, all the intel and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Yes. Pra- Practice yes, well. That's a, that's a key phrase they say. Yes, yes, yes. So may I borrow this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah sure. I've Kay begins studied. studying it. Copy. Hmm? I said Practice well. Ever only in response. You didn't mean it. It didn't come from the heart. That's true. <coughs> Turning. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Hi. He'll oh turn God. incoming. <laughs> um, perhaps, perhaps when we are at the gate, <laughs> uh, if, if, if a shakedown is required, or, or 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 someone does need to come into contact with me personally, maybe you could volunteer yourself <laughs> to be your quill. Yes. Oh my God, is that Lucius? I think it, Do you remember I that high elf? That I will need to travel. I don't with know who anyone is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, like, in stuff like this, like everyone's like, my intelligence is five now. Uh, <laughs> it's like, but who's that? <laughs> it's tr- oh my god! Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then the rest of the time, it's like, I will summon the angels of heaven with my <laughs> twenty wisdom. Psh, oh my god, that was Lucius. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> we did this last time. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> huh? All right, for Quill, he's just appeasing him. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, Nova's quietly despairing in a corner. With Because you were asking Kay if they could become a guard to sort of kind of intercept Yeah, yeah. Him. If that was well, their plan. The, the difficulty will be that I will need to be travelling with you. I will just be disguising myself as a Ganassi. I would have to somehow get away transform, re-equip new clo- clothing, and then come in as a guy. It would be far far too impractical. Okay. I will study this, this Valkyrian Empire so that if you need me to be a guard in some scenario, I may be able to do it, but I would not... You are the ones on this secret mission. I am here to enable mm. your personalities, not, not to be involved myself. I am not a spy. I am not an agent. Uh, this is for all of you. I am your tailor. Okay. Just remind me of Garrick in Deep Space Nine. Garrick, Garrick's a bit of... Is that, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I was I'm like, oh, a... who's going to be the specialist, I was like, oh, I do like I'm Garrick. just a simple tailor. I know. Uh, <laughs> right, now let's try this again. Mm-hmm. Who are you? Why? I am Crag. Yes. I am a guard from the Battle of Elemental Mountain. Now, don't check your notes. <clears throat> the Tectonic oh, Titans, look. that's a team. I am from the Tectonic Titans. I'm not looking at my notes. Mm. I was training in Imixan in the mountains, yes. and I heard the Valkyrian Empire calling everyone to come back to Borton Sar. I can see your eye flickering a little um, bit. Mm. Insight check. So we are, return- <laughs> we are returned back to Borton Sar, to our, our home. Mm. Is that good? Oh, yeah. It will be fine. Perhaps only answer questions if you have to. Okay. <laughs> like, which, 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 which questions do you think if, I if, would... Well, if somebody, if you are being questioned by a guard, answer their questions. But if, if your companions can do answer questions, I would perhaps let them. Okay. You there! Whoa. <laughs> now, give me your entire story. All of it. From start uh, to finish. Okay, crazy old man. <laughs> My name is Julien. You may have read my oh. writings in the Culinary oh, yes. Guide. Just, you should take notes, but don't look at your notes. So <laughs> 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 you start hyperventilating. I am a staff writer in the Culinary Guide, and I have been in Imixan testing their cuisine. Wonderful. I don't know why I'm I'm leading this. I've got no performance. I don't myself. know why you did either. Uh, <laughs> I'm just being precautious. Yes, I'm, cautious. I'm, ca- I'm scared. You I'm really so like scared. The adult-minded old man. Very well. He's Thank very you. good. Yeah. Do I look handsome? You do. I love Stream. feel handsome. I love it. <gasps> I like stroking it. That's a look. Do I look wise? Stay there. Oh, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it does great. suit you. It does suit you. Thank you. Check this out. 
No nips. <laughs> no nips. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so freeing. Mm. Mm. Huh. No mm. chaffage. Nothing in the way. It's phenomenal. Very good. <coughs> Quill. I mean, sorry. No, I don't. Wisp. No, I'm Quill now. I'm, well, no, I'm Wisp. You need, to, you need to do a sign so we know, like a Q or like um, a Q? W. Or like that. Yeah, something like, yeah, something like yeah, that. What does that do, signify? So when I'm talking to Quill, do that, well, and then I know. Well, Otherwise, okay. I'm talking because I don't want to accidentally call you Quill. Well, I'm not Quill. I'm Wisp. You're Wisp. Okay, good. But when you're Quill, and I look and sound exactly but, like Wisp. But when you're Quill, do do this so I know it's Quill. I, if I'm talking in a completely different voice, it should be immediately recognizable. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust myself with that. We're doomed. Kay is looking very worried. <laughs> like, We're mm, I've done my best. This this puts me in the mind of the last mission we did, where we spent like what an entire episode talking about our stealth plan, and the first thing we did was roll like shit stealth rolls, and it just went out the window pretty much straight away. Oh. Yep. Yeah, but this one is guised in hilarious roleplay. Yeah, true. Rather than just hilarious. talking about. It's so funny. <laughs> 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 the funniest D&D show on the net. <laughs> what, you, what were you going to say? I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, He's something in it. about nipples, but it's probably not proper. Okay. <laughs> Classic old man. <laughs> the Guardians have that. Anyway. Wait, what? Don't worry. So You're right. I'll just add a counter to my like how many episodes I thought this arc would be. I'm just gonna add <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Just, just chalkboard, <laughs> raise that. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take away your ability to make decisions for a second and that, say please. that three days pass. I'd like to use my storm wine. <laughs> <laughs> you can use your storm wine. Don't mind that. That's fine. No, no, no. no it's fine. Um, Maybe you eventually arrive oh. and are deposited. Uh, several miles uh, outside of Ortonstar. You'll have to walk the rest of the way. Um, K, on the morning that you depart, does uh, K does not appear as K. Instead, a uh, I think fire ganassi, um, a fire ganassi woman, uh, middle aged, uh, kind of like well built, well travelled, um, probably looking similar age to uh, Julian. Uh, sort of 40s, 50s, um, a tailor, but the outfit is more rough and sort of like worn and sort of uh, like a seamstress, like an older kind of seamstress, like fiery ponytail tied up, um, kind of looking a bit more sort of weathered. They make it clear it's them. Huh? Or do they just come out? They they come out of Kay's room, yes. <laughs> but they are wearing an outfit. Uh, wearing oh, fucking go, here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, Trot. Roll play it out. Be free. Well, his wisdom isn't that low, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> Ayla, can you hold on to my book of infinite wisdom real quick? Who is that? Fucking <laughs> 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 Tim Allen. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm trying to think of a good... What's like a good fire name that begins with a K? Oh. Like Kindle. A, kin, kinder. Kinder. Uh, kinder. Kinder? Yeah, Kindle. Kindling. Kindle, yeah. Kindling. Kindle. I was going to say Kinder Kindle. is German for yeah, children. For children, yeah. yeah. Kindle. Uh, children eggs. Uh, yeah, it's not Ooh. a K-A. It's not a K-A. Kinder eggs. And you say it like that. Cummy, hummy, ha? Cummy. I guess you could use like Kelvin, but that's like a temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think kin- uh, Kindle. Kindle. Uh, Kindle. Uh, Kindling. They, Kindle. I don't think they would call themselves Kindling. Oh, but if I talk to everyone (laughs) for like 10 minutes, I'm the bad guy, but we spend ages talking about Kindle or Kindler. Ah. It's been like a minute. (laughs) It's a long minute. You're making it longer. Your your, your your attention span is infinitesimal for other people (laughs) and extronomical for yourself. Oh, you just got red, son. <laughs> it's fucking astronomical. Fucking astronomical. That's a great word. Yeah. Astronomical. You are extra oh, and astronomical. What's the word I was trying to say? Astronomical. 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 But he is extronomical, though. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mix the two. He's so fucking extra. <laughs> the episode yeah. title. Yeah. Astronomical. Um, That's the best markism. So Kay, a.k.a. Kindle, uh, will say, well, are we ready? Yes. As yes. we'll ever be. So from here on, we are 
on you, Ganesha. Well, I will, I will cast the seeming spell uh, when we are a bit closer. We're still perhaps, uh, perhaps a few hours of, right. of walking. When we get closer, and bef- when it, when we're in danger of being around others, I will cast the seeming spell. Just because the duration, I don't want it to be running out quicker than uh, than it needs to. Um, but yes, I am ready to go. Is are all of you? Yes, I think we're ready to go. <laughs> yep. So ready. Good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Remember, only speak when spoken to. Okay. Oh, if yes. in, maybe if in doubt, let me take the lead. Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay. Yes. Then from here. Uh, let those amongst you, yes. You, you, Julian uh, has the most knowledge of Ganats, um, but I would say that, uh, what was the name we went for? Azure? Azure. Azure. Uh, is, seems to be the most competent um, performer of amongst us. Ooh. Improvisational, I would uh, lead with Azurai. Uh, any sort of local knowledge, lean on uh, Julian. All right. Before we get into this uh, in character, oh. mechanics. Oh. Mechanics. Oh, oh he's so, got a whiteboard. Got a whiteboard. <laughs> a few of them. First things first. You have a countdown. Oh. oh. You have seven days oh. before you know. I'll just activate it now. Nice. It's, no, we're doomed. You have seven yeah. days. Each of those days to help us track time, because I don't want to be like, you know, oh, how long did that take every time? The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use a system called clocks. Um, every day we'll have a clock. It's got four, basically a circle with four segments. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. When you, basically, activities will take a segment, or like if you fail a check, it might cost you a segment of time. We mark off those. When a day gets filled up, that's one day gone, right? You're going to always need to spend at least one of those segments to long rest, um, at least. Mm -hmm. Um, But other activities, you can spend them as you wish to, right? You can do that as a group, or you can do that as individuals. You can split off into different teams. And it might change, right? Like, if you want to go, we want to tail this NPC and find out where they're going so we can learn about this thing, that might cost you a segment or a day, two segments of a day, right? So, and I'll tell you generally what it will cost before we do it, right? So every time you get a full clock, that's one day gone. Um, you can never gain time. Time can only ever be spent. So you can't be like, well, if I do a Google check, can we get six hours back? No, it doesn't work that way, right? Uh, leading on from that, one of the options you have for your day segments, one of these four segments of the clock, is you can spend a day segment to gain a flashback point. Uh, and a flashback point is basically a special resource. Rather than us basically being like, I'm going to go and specifically buy this thing and make a plan and have to constantly be like, you know, working in, you know, like thinking ahead, a flashback point will basically allow you to say, I'm going to spend a flashback point and <clears throat> oh, I spent yesterday buying this crossbow grappling gun so that we can get up to the roof. Or I'm going to spend uh, a flashpoint point to say, actually, I've already spoken and made a contact with this company or this organization I want to go and speak to, and they're just good, like that contact is going to let us come in on something cool. like that. So it's like a way to basically do stuff. Um, it's not these aren't wishes. You can't do whatever you want. There's limitations to how powerful they can be, um, and the more powerful you want an effect to be, the higher chance that it will break, or there will be additional consequences or complications with it. Right. Sure. So doing a simple thing like. I'm going to use a flashback point to say we prepared spare clothing in this building that we're hiding in. That's fine. That's probably an easy Mm -hmm. one, right? If you want to be like, no, I already made contact with this guy and he's actually going to be my friend, that's a bigger ask and I'm probably going to put some extra roles or some extra stuff into it, right? Uh, Flashback points can be held as a group or you can hold them individually. So if like Quill wants to spend a part of a day going off and getting a flashback point, he would get a point, but only he can spend it. Um, and you can only hold one flashback point individually, or you okay. can hold them as a group. You so can like have like a group pool. Kind of like an inspiration point, yeah. Oh. Um, but there's a group pool and then an individual pool. Uh, some other things, I got. this is why I've got the whiteboard to remind you all of them. Because like stuff like the day clock, I'm going to track that. You don't necessarily need to know what that is. Mm-hmm. I'm just explaining it. Um, to represent your kind of clandestine nature in these disguises and personas that you've built, you're going to have something called an incognito score. And that is a a, a mount. It's a score that I'm going to give you based on the skills of K and in a minute, your first rolls that we're going to make to see how well your performance is. Yeah. Um, That score, almost treat it like a passive deception for your whole group. So when you go and speak (laughs) to guards... deception. Yeah, when you speak to guards, if your incognito score is high enough, they're probably not even going to question it. Mm. They're just going to be like, yeah, that's fine, you can go in, or like, yeah, they're going to not ignore you, right? As it gets lower, when you interact with people, they will be more suspicious. And if it ever reaches uh, four or lower, you are basically exposed. Like you are, like those disguises are meaningless and you can never use them again. Like, right, you have to either find, like, build a new persona 
or you have to like you know do something else okay. right um and if you're Dang exposed up. that means the guards and hostile npcs are gonna know who you are and they're gonna come after you right um, oh boy oh boy yeah now there are ways to decrease your incognito score, and there are ways to increase your incognito score. Yep. Uh, it's much easier for it to go down than it is to go back up, so mm -hmm. keep that yeah. in mind. Yeah. Um, K is going to be like your main sort of like point of contact. <laughs> uh, every day, K can give you like a little boost to your incognito score by refreshing your disguises or building new ones. Um, and then losing it is mainly going to be things like, oh no, we just failed a group deception check, or we failed a group stealth check. Incognito score goes down. Yeah, right. I'm right? Very used to that. And then the last thing is there is an alert track for the city: green, yellow, orange, and red. I'm not going to tell you exactly what those mean, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure where the city fathom currently it. is. Yeah. Uh, so uh, let me. Okay. Oh, I love this. So you have awesome. seven days on your countdown. <laughs> You've got no flashback day. points, yep. and the day is fresh. Ah. Oh, I'm scared. I'm spooked. You don't need to show that sound. Oh, they're currently on the green alert then. Yes. Okay. Yeah, the city is currently at peace, so you do know that. Your incognito score, I'll tell you what it is it, when it starts. I'm not going to tell you what it is <laughs> when it changes and how much it oh, changes by. Okay. You so we can don't... spend you can spend time to basically go out and put the feelers out yeah. and be like, oh, have you heard about these guys, blah, blah, blah. And okay. that will tell you what your current score is. So we won't you have to know... spend time to know what your incognito level is. We won't is. know, I guess, outside of intuition, like if our actions have lowered or increased or whatever. No, uh, certainly you'll know, you, you'll probably know like, oh, that probably wasn't very yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. You have no idea how much it goes down yeah. by instead. Okay, right? that's cool, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, like and so the, first, the way that we establish that, because the incognito score mm -hmm. is basically set as you approach the oh city boy. gates. First things first, description of the city. Walking in from it, Quill has already seen this, but for those of you, and Nova knows this, those of you for the first time it is uh, arriving in Vortensar, um, to one side, you have great mountains um, that scoop down onto a, a wide open kind of plained landscape. Um, and then far to the to the other side of the mountains, you can see rivers and a large uh, open sort of um, le uh, sea. Like it leads out to the sea along like a river and stuff. Um, based on the coast, uh, the city benefits from great position for trade, um, but it has grown and expanded. And you can even still see on the very outskirts uh, where not quite shanty towns, but temporary buildings have been built outside of the original city's walls. Um, and you can even see the discoloration of the earth where Vortensar was first transported here still lingers today. Um, and beyond that, there are temporary buildings, like smaller kind of like wooden stone buildings that have been constructed as the city has grown and as traders and visitors have come. That outer city is empty. Like, it has all been abandoned and is now no longer inhabited. Um, it's been closed up, all the windows and doors have shuttered on the buildings, um, all boarded up, locked up tight. The city itself, one of the most impressive elements to it is, not only is this a expansive, massive city, rivaling places like Gold Throne and Gusthaven and Horizon, there is a, not quite magitech, but an incredibly magical nature to this city. You can see that there are sections of the city that hover above it, literally flying streets that kind of like connect all up together. Um, you can see canals of, you know, almost like, uh, like in Venice where you have like these river boats almost acting like streets with people coming and going and trade coming and going to and from. Most impressively, there are four enormous statues, gargantuan titans that almost hold up, you know, that surround the city, cradling it in a dome-like shape. Uh, built into the mountains, um, you can see uh, this kind of lounging earth ganassi, kind of lounging on the ground, reaching up with one hand. Uh, opposite them is an air ganassi, almost leaning over the city with clouds and shapes, kind of almost forming a half dome, reaching down towards the earth ganassi. On the other sides of those guys, almost forming like a, a compass points, and the one that you are heading towards directly is a fire ganassi with arms raised up, their palms held up to the sky, and lava bubbling down their arms, flowing into the fire district. And you can see forges and industrial warehouses where this lava is almost being funneled in to power these, these industrial uh, complexes. 
Um, opposite them, near the docks and the riverside, is a uh, water ganassi. And the same thing, you have like water kind of spilling out of their cupped hands down into the city to fill the channels. Um, the water and the fire ganassi also have uh, plumes. The fire ganassi has these steam vents that seem to power elevators that lead up to these flying parts of the city. The water ganassi has uh, water sprouts that kind of shoot up platforms and lifts and boats up to it as well. Um, and it's all connected, and it's incredibly magical. You can see flying carriages, um, you can see Ganassi themselves flying, using air and fire to kind of patrol around the city. It's an incredibly magical, advanced place. Uh, not because of technology, but because of this raw connection to the elemental powers um, that has been shaped and cultivated over years. Um, and as you approach, you see the great fire Ganassi um, facing away from you, kind of looking inwards to the city towards their fellow statues. Um, but you can see the lava spilling down their hands, kind of forming these archways that you are basically going underneath them through this large main gate. Um, but it is not a quick journey because it is busy. Uh, you join a queue before this K cast the seeming spell. You take on this kind of like completed visual disguise and appearance, um, and K settles in with you to basically uh, join this queue of Ganassi uh, that are leading, winding out of the gate, leading in. Um, and it takes a significant amount of time, um, about half of a day segment, so about three hours or so. Uh, as you are basically, you have to wait, and you can see up ahead that the gate guards are questioning and inspecting those who are coming. Many people are bringing wagons laden with supplies and, and personal belongings and things like that. All of that's being examined thoroughly and checked. Um, and yeah, you are in this queue. There are a couple of people on either side of you. Uh, there is a young family, uh, husband and wife and two children, all fire Ganassi um, uh, behind you. And then in front of you, there are three older Ganassi, uh, all men, um, an earth Ganassi, an earth and fire Ganassi, and a water Ganassi, um, dressed almost like they have like mining equipment and they have like backpacks, but really not much else. The family behind you have got like a little cart um, with a donkey uh, and they're, they're, they're literally pulling like what looks to be like their life behind them. Um, and you can see the queue winds ahead. And you've got a bit of time before you reach the gates, like you have, if you want to, or we can just jump ahead straight to you guys arriving and having to get through the gates. Well, I, I kind of want to see, yeah, what exactly what kind of checks we should be prepared for looking ahead. Like, I mean, I've got obviously the perception, but also lip reading and whatever else, like mm -hmm. the kinds of things. Well, lip reading we... won't help you until you get much closer because sure, at yeah. the moment they're like tiny little spots. Yeah, 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 but I, I think I want to, Keep a wary eye on that, mm -hmm. so I can make a perception check for me. <laughs> uh, that is yeah, thirty-two. Thirty-two. Watching it from a period of time, and as you get closer, you begin to pick out more and more details. And even at a far distance, with your keen bird-like eyesight, you can read some of the lips. Um, it is a, there is a, a selection of soldiers, mostly Ganassi city guard, but you can see at least a couple of Valkyrian troops with them. Um, and it seems fairly mundane, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you don't get the exact nature, but it seems very conversational. <coughs> um, there's no like pat downs or like physical inspections. They will open bags and like check things like that. Okay. Um, but it is generally a kind of like, yeah, it seems to be a bit more conversational and friendly in a sense as well. Like you don't, okay. it, it doesn't seem aggressive, um, but it is th thorough. And yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, they, they, it seems to be that, yeah, they're making sure that they kind of keep details and records of everyone coming in. Does it look like they're checking for documents or anything? No documents, no. It seems to me mainly sort of more just questions, interview-like, yeah. um, and then checking the possessions and belongings coming into the city as well. Mm -hmm. um, Do we have the haversack with all the weapons? Yeah. Ailes shielded and guarded? Uh, the haversack there. itself is not masked. It could be, but then Nova would have to give away your Amethyst Lodestone. Um, but the haversack, because of its nature, uh, whoever reaches into it, you can only pull out what you know. You have to think right. of what it is to pull so it out. Um, so it's a security system. Yeah, yeah, and like, you know, there is like, it's kind of a security system. I mean, Ayla could basically be like, dump out everything that isn't our weapons and armor, and it would spill out like all of the contents of like rations and bedrolls and stuff like that. Oh, nice. I'd love a bag like that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Wouldn't be great. Um, and you, but, oh, you know, you probably need to tell Ayla like, yeah, just don't, don't let the weapons drop out or like don't take the weapons out of it. Um, and if they, if they look inside, it will just look like an empty backpack basically to them. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I mean, I guess it kind of works like a normal backpack, so Ayla could probably just fill it with normal things yeah, yeah. and then just leave the extra dimensional space empty and then just be like, oh yeah, I didn't put anything in there. There's probably already stuff in there. Yeah. But that yeah. does, Brums. it will potentially rely on Ayla lying. 
True, but... Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what the gesture you can pick up on. That, like, that's Coil's kind of focus for that period of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what about the rest of you? Is there anything the rest of you want to do as you're kind of, like, waiting in this queue? I think Nova's just kind of maybe lost in her own thoughts, really, just, like, seeing those statues again, seeing mm. the buildings, you know... Not she, seen them for a year oh, or so? However long, it's like... About a year and a bit. Yeah, very mixed feelings leaving... Uh, mm. Being back, because when she left, obviously, there was an element of disgrace and anger, but also adventure and excitement at forging my own path, mm. so. And also, I guess, just reflection that when I left, I was so naive and just thought I'd be fine in the world. And my God. <laughs> I think a compliment to that is uh, almost like a mirror, right, of those thoughts and feelings is you can hear the cut the family behind you. Um, and you hear like, oh my god, wow, look at that, look at look at that, girls, like look at the fire again, I see. And like, you get there basically, you hear their story, which is they have always lived outside of, uh, they never lived in in Vortensar. They moved out early on to try and set up a life and a business elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and they are just full of that naivety, like they're mm -hmm. just like, this is gonna be great, like, you know, we're gonna go see our home world, Jelly. And like, there's like a lot of that kind of like, you know. But there's also that kind of mixed in of like. Um, the wife is, you know, saying to him, like, oh, but shouldn't we be worried? I've heard that there are these Erosian terrorists in the city and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, it's fine, don't worry. This this Shansar and Harmony will protect us. Like, you know, we have heard so much about Harmony. Like, they're, they're the leader. They're going to protect us and stuff like that. Oh, um, and it's like, but it's a genuine belief of, yeah. like, this is going to be great, you know, kind of leading themselves to there. I'm so conflicted. Oh, this is not the home. Greener pastures. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Lucius or Sentry, anything for you guys? Um, can I look at like the fortifications? So see like uh, guards patrolling the walls. Are, are, like how high the walls? Is there like, Ver ex are there exit yeah. points? There's uh, there are several. The the main gates. There are four main gates. Uh, one for each statue. Mm -hmm. um, they are the main entrances and exits. There aren't really any others. Um, but it does look like the Ganassi have lots of ways for things like they have flying vehicles. They have like these carriages that seem to be elementally powered and can fly. Mm -hmm. um, so they can have easy access to get in and out of the city if they needed to. There is an airship dock. Um, you can see overhead the two Valkyrian troop transports and battleships, uh, the sort of like these modified ones that were built to come down to Erois, mm. um, that Callus has obviously, you know, was using to like potentially invade. Um, they are patrolling. Um, there are also several Vortensar Ganassi airships that are, you know, stationed ready to patrol and launch into a fight. In terms of guards, up on the walls you see primarily Ganassi. Um, city guards, they would look very similar to the Horizon City Guards. Not the most expensive looking equipment, pretty pretty disciplined, but not like elite level of, of soldiers. You do occasionally glance Valkyrian troops, uh, mainly rifles, like with the Magitek rifles and the Magitek armor, um, with lots of Magitek equipment. They seem to be a little bit of higher status and stature, um, but almost like a friendly, like they're teaching the Ganassi, right? So like you can kind of see them like giving them tips and things like that and like drilling them and things like that as they yeah. move around. Um, I think from this position, that's all you see for now. Okay. Um, but you would, looking at that century with your knowledge, you suspect that there is there are more senior and elite troops, probably in fewer numbers, so they won't be on the patrols and on the walls and things like that. They'll cool. probably be in the city defending more important vital areas. Okay. But yeah, you suspect that there will probably definitely be more higher command structures. These are the kind of the lowest level troops. Nice. Um, and like, I would say that the, the guards, like not to give you metagame knowledge, but yeah, we're talking like, you know, CR half, CR one guards. Like these okay. are like normal dudes, yeah. right? Scrubs. Like, normal. Yeah, they're the scrubs. The <laughs> troopers, not much more powerful than that, but probably around CR three, CR four. Um, so you know, tougher, and for you guys, not much of a threat unless there were lots of them, or unless they were like working with you know a, a more elite commander kind of thing. They could quickly overpower you if they were like you know there was twelve of them all shooting at you at once. That could probably be even a threat to you guys. Mm. Um, but the regular guards, you they're they're basically minions. Like I'll tell you that now. For you, for, as far as your guys are concerned, yeah. they're minions. Um, Pulling maybe not in like again. you know not necessarily in terms of they'll always fail their saves and stuff, but they're low hit points, low yeah. threat. Really not too much of a scary thing. Um, but cool. you suspect that there probably will be some more elites inside. What about you, Lucius? And I think on in the queue, I think Lucius will be just soaking in the okay. vista mm -hmm. because it's very similar to Gusthaven in terms of yeah, just it's very magical and magical, it's spectacular kind of. You we've know, got thing. the temperature regulation, mm. and there are carriages and things like that mm. that floating around. But this is just on a totally different level. Yeah. So I think, like the naive family behind him, Lucius will be almost childlike in his wonder. Asking mm. Nova 
loads and loads of questions about the elements and stuff. He's like, well, I, as a sorcerer, elements are innate to me. So this is fascinating that, you know, Are you whispering this to Nova or is this loud enough that like yeah. the people around you might hear? Uh, so if it's like quite excited. It's theatrical whispering. Okay. So it's I think like um, excitable whispering. But so I don't know how much Nova would respond loud. if you're kind of caught up in your own head, but like if you're kind of if you miss Lucius's like first questions, uh, one of the three old Ganassi men will probably turn around and answer it. Like yeah. if they don't, like if you don't I, respond straight away, or like or I they might like get involved. We'd probably all do. just join in and like because yeah. I feel like this would be quite a natural. Like if you were a Ganass that has never been here, but I am. Like mm -hmm. I feel like in my journalistic background mm -hmm. would be that I left be, here. Oh, so, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. So. Blah, blah. I don't think it would be too out of sorts and out of yeah. role playing the role play. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's, it's yeah. totally in character. Yeah. The uh, One of the old Ganassi, the um, Earth Ganassi in front of you will kind of lean round. You can see he's like a proper prospector. He's got like one big kind of like crystalline tooth. Um, and he's kind of got like a kind of like, hey, hey sonny, for coming back first time in the city? Yes, first time. Ah, what a what a what a way to come home, I say. And what a what an event to look forward to. Yeah, it's a beautiful beautiful place. We've not been How long's it been since we've been back, Lager? And the earth and fire Ganassi's kinda of got like a molten lava kind of vibe to him. He's like It's gotta be about what 60, 70, 80 years, I think. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, we came back that one time, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we came. That's right, we came back for that. That was true, yeah, but uh, it's Has been it a long time. changed much in that time? Oh, no, no. Well, the city, the walls and the statues, they've been there since the beginning, but the people, I think, were a little different when we came back. Oh, lots of young'uns. They got these funny ideas about the world, and they're all running around, but not much else. You know, it's uh, you, uh, you're an air Ganassi. You wouldn't understand, but folks like us, and he's kind of like points at him and the the Earth Ganassi. Like we don't change much, do we? Go, I'm like, nah. Earth doesn't. Rocks don't change. Like and it's just like rocks don't change. That's right. We just sit in the ground. It takes a long time to move a rock. Uh, and then you can see the water Ganassi's just like, that's why you've got me around, you f you idiots. Uh, and he kind of slaps them on the back, and he's just like, gotta keep them nice and fluid, you know? keep things moving, you know? Uh. <laughs> yes, I understand that. Yeah, um, and he kind of like gives you like a little punch on the arm. I'm out for adventure. Uh, Soak in the well, stories when you tell them. One adventure we've got coming forward to us, you know, this being taken to our home yes. plane. Eh? So we are, we are, I remember my... You know, my grandmother heard stories from her grandmother and her grandmother before her and the grandmother before them of, you know, they used to tell of coming here and like the wonders of Ganass and stuff. I kind of, that's why we're coming back. We kind of want to see it. We've seen everything in Nerobis, we think. So might as well see something new. How lucky are we are to be alive in this time? I know, When I know. such a thing is happening. I know, yeah, really. Uh, the I heard that this, this guiding star is a pretty one too. <laughs> And he's just like, ah, oh, you dirty old man, and he like slaps <laughs> him on the head. And he's just like, ah! Oh. Um. Uh -huh, yes, women. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just feeling like, I've been watching like, uh -huh. Brooklyn Nine-Nine, you yeah. know, Captain Old, yeah. with her pendulous breasts. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, swinging back and forth! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, the other two are just like, you fucking shut up, like, like just like, it's free, well, don't, don't mind it. Will we see how many will they give a speech? Well, I'm, you know, I saw uh, the, uh, Magma fire kind of guy is like, I saw her once. I saw them once. So you say them. I saw them once. Not, I don't think it was this harmony. It was the harmony before. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, they're, they're spectacular. I don't talk much. They only really come out for like big events. I was a boy. I was a little boy when, when, when I saw them. Um, I don't know about, I don't know about this harmony, but uh, I mean, it sounds like that they've worked with this, this, this singer, this this musician lady that everyone seems to love, uh, this one especially. He doesn't. He's never even seen her. He loves her already. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like uh, if you've ever if you ever watched like old Dragon Balls, like Master Roshi, like with the big sort of like I yeah. imagine like a mossy mustache and stuff, <laughs> um, and a big prospector tooth. Uh, and he's like, yeah, but uh, it sounds like they've been working pretty hard to get this whole thing together. It's pretty amazing. Yes, uh, I mean, I have my. You know, I've got to keep grounded, of course. Not like an Earth Kinesi. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm willing to, as a young person, a young Air Kinesi, I'm skeptical. If I can give you a piece of advice, it's, you know, and I think this may be, it may be, may be right for you being an Air Kinesi, but 
Just go with the flow. Don't be like us. Like the three of us, we've we've been traveling around Aromis for decades. We're working. We've seen the best and the worst of it. We've seen everything this world's got to offer. And there are cheats and liars in Aromis. There's probably cheats and liars here. There's probably cheats and liars in Ganas and this Valkyrian place, wherever you go. You find those kinds of people wherever. You also find sometimes, sometimes people are genuine and people are sincere and you've just got to take that risk because otherwise you just sit around and do nothing for 80 years. We know a lot about doing nothing, don't we boys? And they're like, yeah, we know a lot about doing nothing. Uh, he's just yeah. like, so just, you know, yeah, sure, maybe be a big skeptical, sure, but don't, don't miss the chance. Oh, it sounds like you're not anyway. That's why I'm in the queue. Yeah, exactly. Well, you never know who's right in front of you. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, they, they'll just go back to sort of like talk amongst themselves and sort of like things like that. But they'll probably like engage you in like, like as you guys are talking, they might turn around the and like, small have a chat. And, and they're like properly like, they're like old dudes mm -hmm. like who are just like, and they'll like tell you stories about things that they've done. When I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. When I was a kid. Cool. Yeah. There was this one time. Um, and it sounds like the three of them have been together since they were like teenagers and they mm -hmm. left the city and they've never married. They've just hung out with each other for like <laughs> eight years. Uh -huh. Bros. Um, yeah, they're basically like minor bros. Bros like, you, for life. They're all like minors that basically went around and like freelance worked for different people and stuff like that. Cool. Um, yeah. Very uh, cool. But eventually the queue reaches its uh, end. Uh, and you guys approach the doors. And I realize it's time to end the episode. Oh, what? no! Ah! As we hit the doors. Ah! Yeah, it doesn't have to be. <laughs> It, it is. We can go in. It's we can seven do seven o'clock somewhere in the world. We can just do this whole arc now. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll do next, more if you want to do more. Hours. Sam's gotta go. Yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, we gotta go. Oh, but I, oh, I, was I like, know, oh, but so I, I got right there. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> oh God. Let's also have Kate back next week. So. Yeah, we need Kate. Yeah, that's very fair. All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this part of Aroes. Uh, that's it for this week. Uh, please don't forget to go and check out our merch on our Fresh Merch store. Uh, also, if you want to come see me and Trot, we'll be at MCM Comic Con at the end of the month uh, in October. Um, and that is it. We'll see you very much next time. Take care. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye.